Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So, we're going to be playing a Wolfric the Wanderer campaign. And I thought I'd spice it up a little bit by uh, putting in a bit of a unit restriction. So, bye-bye, Mammoth. Oink. We're only going to use Marauder units. Now, if we have a look at the Marauder, uh, look at the roster, these are the units that I can use. So, anything that's basically that says Marauder is okay. So, Marauder Horsemen, Marauder Horsemen Throwing Axes, Marauder Horse Masters, they're all good. Marauder Hunters, yep, fine. Hunters, yep. Marauders Great Weapons, regular Marauders, um, Berserkers, yep. Marauder Champions, yep. Norskin Warhounds? Not Marauders. Skin Wolf Werekin? Not Marauders. Skin Wolves? Nope. Norskin Ice Wolves? Nope. Skin Wolves Armored? Nope. Norskin Ice Trolls and Norskin Trolls? Nope. Femir? No. Nope. Femir? Nope. Uh, Feral Manticore? Nope. Frost Worm? Nope. Femir Warriors Great Weapon? Nope. War Mammoth? Nope. Feral Mammoth? Nope. War Mammoth War Shrine? Nope. Norskin Giant? Not a Marauder. Nope. Um, Marauder Chariots? Yes. Marauder Ice Wolf Chariots? Yes. And I think we'll allow for Shaman Sorcerers. But uh, I don't know. If you guys give me shit about it, then I can always just stop it. Uh, I stream standing a little later compared to normal. Um, well, I am a little bit late today. Uh, I just had some other things going on, but I, I'm just late today. That's all. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy what we're gonna do. Woo! We're already at 400 viewers. That's pretty quick, is it? Yeah, it seems pretty quick. Okay, that's good. I that's good. Okay, let's try. do this. What's your trait? Sneaky. Hmm. Whatever. It's not very good. Keepers. Let's do this. Finally, a fight. Any reason not to just restrict mammoths? Oh, it says valiant defeat. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Imagine losing the first battle because I don't have the mammoth. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Any reason not to restrict Mammoth? Right. So, here's the thing. In Warhammer 3, I actually kind of prefer Norskin Ice Trolls. Because they're easier to recruit, and they're cheaper. Well, Mammoths are good, for sure. Um, people often ask me, you know, because they see me run with, like, Archer Armies. The point of today is melee infantry. We're going to use melee infantry tactics with, uh, with, uh, Marauder Horsemen. Hopefully you enjoy it, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's... We gotta be careful here because I immediately disbanded my mammoth and it said Valiant Defeat. If we lost this battle here, we're basically game over. <laughs> so, uh, we, we, we really do need to win. I think that um, Blobbing could be good. Up here. And I'll try to harass them a little bit with the with these guys. It would be good to shoot at the Femir Warriors, however, these guys here will probably harass me a bit. So maybe what I'll do is put these guys in the forest here. And yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just charge at them when we get the chance. What about chariots? Yeah, ch Marauder chariots are fine. So, I'll see about giving Sertha Ek a... Um, a thematic mount, but we'll see. Alright, I'm gonna do something that's not great. Just because I want to get a little bit of early damage in. Let this recharge, that's it. And this unit here is actually my biggest concern. So we got 1,600 damage in there. Now that we've done some damage to this unit, we can charge at them with these two here and uh, hopefully kill them a lot quicker. But my main objective is to get rid of the Fimir Warriors. Oh uh, yeah, the problem here, I think we get outranged a little bit.
problem is I can't really get at them so easily from this angle. And I think these ones here outrange us, but yeah, they do. Okay, whatever. I'll just have to come around this way. Good, shooting up Marauder Champions is good. But the main unit that I really wanted to shoot up... ...was this one. Good, at least it's coming at us, that's good. Good, we got him, we got him. Got him in melee there. This guy come right over here and flank. Hello, Gamb says, hey, I want to pop in and thank you again for talking at length with me. What are you talking about, man? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I remember. <laughs> it happened a few minutes ago. All good, dude. All good, dude. Thanks. Thanks as well for having the chat. You're the reason I'm late. No, it's my fault. I blabbered on too long. Why isn't he shooting magic? Uh, because you've got to wait for them to get pinned down. The AI will dodge Searing Doom. Um... Like, really well, so that's why I'm trying to, um, just wait, because we don't have tons of magic. Wait for them to actually get set up here, over here. Right, everyone get charged in. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, Legend. We like the rules. Okay, you like them? That's good. That's good. I just want you guys to... Be happy. Wilfric the Wanderer. Annihilation. Where did uh, the Fimir? Uh, where did the Fimir go? Oh, they're over here. Okay. Um, maybe don't worry about the Marauder Champions. Bring them over here. And uh, damn knows. Need to get rid of the Fimir. I'd never do this in Warhammer 2, but in Warhammer 3, I actually think it's it's actually pretty good. Um, yes, chieftain. No! Right, that dude's going up. On Very well. Mortal fool. So yeah, watch what happens if I do this. They'll dodge it. This is why I don't... Oh, I think it cancelled. Never mind, army losses. We serve the gods. Get them. Valiant defeat, apparently. But that went really well. I don't think there was anything that was uh, problematic there. Can you Shaman Sorcerer? Yeah, I'll make an exception for Shaman Sorcerers, because I'm not going to get many of them. Wait, if it's going to be Marauders, that means no Throg? Hmm, that's a good point. Actually, don't mind Throg in Warhammer 3. Have you seen Wilfric's model on tabletop? He looks so goofy compared to the game's model. A lot of models are like that. Have you seen Ariel's model? She looks really weird. No Mammoth? I disbanded it. When you don't cheese, you get luck. That's pretty friggin' good. Brass Cleaver for us is really good. Next up, Nagel Farlings. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to force march. Oh, I didn't get enough experience for the first level up. I should have run them down a bit more. I forgot about that. Okay, and then we're going to recruit a Lord. Yeah, Cunning seems good. And this guy here is going to recruit just basic Marauders. I can get Marauder Spearmen. 
Mm-hmm. Let's speak to them. Offer to join war against Nordland in exchange for... No, I'll do that next time. Alright, building over here. Let's go with growth. They nerfed this building by 50%. It provides half as much money now. Which, that's fair enough. You want to get as many ports as possible. It still makes tons through here. Is it still bad to consolidate the entirety of Northgate ASAP and Warhammer 3? Well, it's neither bad nor good. It just depends on the strategic uh, situation. Um, it's not necessarily a great idea to get rid of potential allies when the entire world is probably going to hate you. So, I don't think I need to confederate all of uh, Norska right away. So, I'm actually going to try to remain friends with the Scalings. Uh, because what that can do, by if I confederate the Scalings, and I'm going to discover Corone and the Empire, and then they're going to constantly invade me. Whereas, I kind of want to go north first into the Chaos Wastes, just to begin with. And then when I'm when I'm done, I'll come and pound them down. Because the AI is far less likely to invade over here if I'm not there. To the four corners. Alright, there's his other Where's one. my next quarry? A challenge? Alright, we want to get over to here. And you want to get over to here, but transfer those over to him. Cool. And next stop is the Grayling Moots. Alright, so this turn here, let's see. To Offer to join war against How Nordland. Military access would be good. Fight. Because it's easier to get a non-aggression pact. Yes. Yeah, so... With relation improving towards 7 now. Yeah, let's see how we go. Also, it could be good to have trade partners. Norsko doesn't make a lot of money through trade, but you should try to make some. Alright, let's move on. You'd rather ally major warriors of chaos factions or beat them? Oh, That's hard to say. Um, you could go either way. Wolfric on foot then, and not a mammoth? He's still a Marauder, even if he's on a um, Mammoth. We'll see. We'll see when we get to it. He's not going to recruit Mammoth units. Alright, it's good that they recruit a Lord there. That is that is good. Hang on, I've got to level up. We definitely can't order resolve that. That's not Lamont Dahl, so we have to be careful not to take too much damage. It is said. Hey, Lemon Pledge, how's it going, dude? Will you use Mammoth Mounts? Why don't we put that to a pole? Why don't we put that to a pole? Oh, there's some new options. We can actually start a Q&A. Answer viewer questions live. That's new. Okay. Well, I might try that one day. Um, okay, so... Mammoth mounts for lords. Yes, no. Alright, let's see here. The Dark Gods command me! I'm gonna set up over here. Yes, Lord. Chaos Marauders. Yes, Chieftain. We serve the gods. Shame and sorcerer. All right, you go harass them to begin with. All will be despoiled. Because we also gotta wait for this guy to show up as well. Uh, so. I Kologi did a TRY 50 super chat. Ooh, we are raiding today. Nice. Need to order pizza. Have a good stream, legend. All right, no, dude. Thanks for super chat. Um, yeah, order me one as well. No, don't. But I've already eaten. 
Well, 73 voted yes. 77 voted yes. Uh, but we'll let that keep going for a bit and we'll see. Oh crap, I'm at the edge of the map. Order the drive! Bring us to carnage! Moving! Ah! Now! Pass up! They can see us, so just waiting for them to charge at us. What do the gods desire? But you know, this is our only missile unit in the army, so you know, try to make the best of it. Hey Legend, been a long time viewer, thanks for all the hours of fun. Love you from Sweden. I know it's dude. Um Love you back from Australia. The dark gods command me. Giants just overgrown marauders. Uh, look, if you argue that, then everything's the marauder. Quick. Move on them. Now. All right, this guy's come in. So, decent amount of damage done so far. Bring us to carnage! Pass up! Yes! Great! Norskin apes? I, they're cavemen. Ooga booga, they're not apes. Pass up! Great! Get them! Get! Now! Bring us to carnage! Pass up! Quick! Now! Bring us to carnage! Would be good if we weren't shooting into their shields, but they're chasing after us. Maybe if I try flanking them a little bit. Some of our guys might be able to shoot. Bypass their shields a bit. For the chaos gods. The dark gods command me. Where's the enemy? Chaos comes. This, this Drive us to the souls. All right, what's our damage at now? Four thousand four hundred. These guys here have nine thousand health. Yeah, so they haven't wiped out a single unit yet. Each. They haven't done their worth, but I don't think they need to. Maybe the gears just don't get damaged. Okay, this unit over here is fairly isolated. I reckon we could uh, give it the old horse sandwich and finish it off. Horse sandwich, motherfucker! Struggle out. Uh, we'll see about that when we we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, we've had a thousand votes now, and it's made pretty steady on seventy six percent. So, well, like I'll leave it, I'll leave it keep going, but I doubt it's going to drastically change as people start showing up a bit more. If they're shooting, sometimes they won't dodge it. Nope. Um. Yeah, they just dodged it. How much damage did we do? Do a pop for Throg. We'll worry about Throg later. I'm sure people will vote yes. Alright, I need to go over there now and get rid of those Marauder Hunters. Yeah, 
This is what I'm talking about. You've got to pin them down. That is true magic. If you have a look at them, they're... They're not doing very much, but I just can't really do anything to... How are they, they doing more damage than what our guys did? Well, this is spread out amongst multiple units. Well, Wolfric managed to get into melee with them, so that's good. Good ripping those horse archers, uh, horse, no, whatever, the thread, shed, threads, shed, shreds. <laughs> Can you explain this challenge a bit more? Oh, it's not really a challenge, uh, it's just a, just a tiny bit of a restriction. It's pretty simple, if it's not a marauder unit I can't recruit it, with the exception of shaman sorcerers. So no female shamans. No trolls. Maybe throg. Maybe. Um, no mammoths. But apparently mammoth mounts are fine. Um, yeah, we'll see. Shaman sorcerer. Yeah, that'll sort him out. No, that'd be very silly to do that. Blood! Quick! The gods are undead! Norsu can't recruit monogod mortars, right? Only through alliances? Yes, that's correct, yeah. Uh, will I recruit them? I'll see if I can even get an alliance. We'll see. Is Azric the Maid Keeper worth working towards as Norska? I haven't actually seen Azric the Maid Keeper. I've seen um, Gurgle Spurt Spew Pit, but not Azric. This means throw trolls only, right? Well, the problem with a troll-only campaign is that you can't get trolls early. So, you can eventually get them trolls, but you can't rush to tier 3. And any kind of only recruit unit campaign um, doesn't work unless you're using only um, early game units. Because otherwise, you're just not going to survive long enough to get those units. Unless you get extremely lucky. And use your garrisons well. Alright, so we're going to occupy this. Cool, we didn't take much damage, we should recover quickly. My challenge? Undeniable. Chieftain of the tribe. Moving out. Okay, Lord. and we're gonna recruit another lord. Because what we're doing here is leveling up our dudes. I'm gonna head towards the blue line first. Swelling of Doom is important, kind of. Um, yes. Oh, hang on, what do we got there? Champions fall. The eternal challenger. So yeah, Azric the Maze Keeper. Uh fleet footed for him could be good. Northman Our chariots allowed? Yep. Who's next? Yep, they're marauders. So yep, they're allowed. If I even choose to get them. I find your motives unclear. Which master do you serve? Nah, that's 
mistake. Alright, let's move on. These kind of challenges are what people prefer, I think, instead of just doom stacking, cool live stream. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've made a doom stack in Warhammer 3 in a really long time. So, what do you mean, instead of just doom stacking? I, I don't really make doom stacks anymore. I did in Warhammer 2, but not in Warhammer 3. When was the last time I made a doom stack? Let's see, I didn't do one in the Kairos campaign. What was before that? Valkyr. Yeah, all these campaigns end real quick anyway. War unceasing. The eagle guides me. You're a pretender. Oh, he's close to his reinforcements there. Denied. Step too far. No I need to trap him. Embarking. Ahead. Okay. No delay. Tribesmen, gather. On the move. What? You're camping. Okay. Sent by the serpent. Journeying. Slaughter the sheep. Alright, from this distance here, um, Lamont Dahl should see us and launch the attack. And hopefully we ambush him. Hopefully. Okay, at the Grayling Moot. Yeah, let's go with growth for now. Uh, how are we going here? Relations not improved enough yet. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Yeah, if he was standing like one tile over this way, you know, being able to deny him 10 units would have been good, but I just couldn't make it. This is why I recruited all these additional units. All these additional lords, I mean. Okay, we've encountered the Shadow Legion. We should try to be friends with them, I think. Alright, just have to hope we don't get pulled out of ambush chance with Wolfric, so that Lamont Dahl comes over here. Fingers crossed. He shouldn't get pulled out, but there is a chance. Ah, damn it. I forgot to join war against that. Come on. Norska's coming up. Hopefully he makes the attack. Let's ambush him. Yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. I don't want to ambush you. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no dipshit. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna come over here with the rest of them. Oh well, I'll just. I'll just take that. It'll be easy auto resolve. They sent their bait over. You got baited. Well, at least we got some experience, and uh, you know he lost some units, so that's something. And now he's gonna back off and recruit some bitch. So at least we got the ambush off, so... Oh, and we got a mountain scout, so that's good. Yeah, leveled up. A challenge? Okay, we could make our way over here. We haven't recovered fully, though. Northman um... Mm, I think we would struggle with that. There, he's got more than a full stack. We need to lure him over to us. This guy's stopping from bloody recruiting so much. Alright, grab that. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is merge, no, switch a a little bit, get this guy to go into encamp stance, right? Oh, that doesn't do anything, does it? No. Oh wait, yes it does, it does give extra replenishment. Alright, do that, stand a little bit closer. On the prowl. Let's fight. And try again with the ambush. Marauding. To the four corners. Heading out. No problem. Okay, Lamont should make his way over here and we'll pick up some more units. Because yeah, we beat him and then we confederate him. One of your lords in force marched. 
Uh, he's yes. likely to attack us if that's Take all he sees. He, he's likely to do that. Uh, I might even bring Wolfric back one tile to there. Yeah, he'll still reinforce this position. We just got to get him to make the attack. The, the ambush itself may not work. Um, we'll see. We'll see. All right. All right, Bellacor, it'd be good if we could be friends. Where shadows form, I am there. Hmm. I'm not going to give him that much money. Not right now. Alright. And yeah, just recruiting more marauders there. Okay, and... Let's upgrade Trollfjord, because that's where the money is going to be. Got to get ourselves ports. Ports are good. Okay, alright, moving on. You said you had a Faction Frontier list video ready? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Next couple of days. Alright, just have to hope they don't get pulled out of ambush. Exalted Unclean Lord has a global bonus, extra health. Yeah, you're right, he's, he's very good. Yeah, 30... Oh, they didn't launch the attack. Oh, this son of a bitch. Fucking coward. Alright, leave, leave him with this many units. He'll probably try again over the end turn. Alright, so he's got a full stat... No, he's got 19 units. And we have... You know, about the same. About the same. No. Hmm. We're running out of money. <laughs> God damn it. I can't attack him because of his garrison. It's too strong. I don't like just sitting around here, though. So what have we got? 11 plus 8. 19, 20. Yeah, so we've got slightly more units than he does. Slightly. But I got Wolfric. And he doesn't have his chariot. Um... Just gotta wait for him to give it a shot. He, he might give it a shot over this end turn. We'll see. But I can't do anything. I, like if I launch the attack there, I, I can't win. Unless no. Um, hi, Drowner. Should a five dollar super chat? Uh, great stream as always. When using cone-shaped spells, does damage increase the further it is from the cone, or damage is equal throughout? Um, it. Okay, it's. This, this, if they're touching the spell, it's the same amount of damage. It's just that as the spell cones out, it gets a greater area of effect. So if you try to aim the end of the spell at a unit, you're more likely to hit more units. That's all it is. Thanks for the super chat. Does it still work if you lose the battle but kill Lamont Dahl? No, you have to win the battle. AI Bellicor doesn't use his portals? No, I don't think so. He needs to launch the attack. He's being too passive. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. No. Oh my god, he disbanded a unit. Well, hang on. Now that we've recruited enough troops... He's got, he's got 18 units in there, plus 10. Let's upgrade the settlement. So he's got 28 units. We're still outnumbered. But I think we can do it now because hmm, I think I think I can manage. Yeah, I think I can manage. We're trying to sit around doing nothing. Because um, what I can do is bomb the crap out of them with his abilities. Yeah. Yeah. Now that the other dude ran away, now I think is a chance. Into corpses. What? Enslave the southerners. The eagle guides me. 
Yes. And give this guy here extra stats. Extra stats. All right, let's have a look here. It'll probably still say auto resolve isn't favorable, but we should at least be able to win. Yeah, valiant defeat. Most of it is uh, melee infantry. They have cavalry superiority here, which is a little bit of a problem. Yeah, because I can't do much about that. Um, but all of his marauders are going to just eat shit. Can siege to attrition? You shouldn't ever really do that. It's not an effective way to play the game. Alright, at least there's no minor city siege. Oh, there is! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I thought it was going to be a field battle, which would have been a lot easier. Oh, this makes it more difficult. I didn't check. Oh, not a, not. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> Crap. I didn't realize he had a defensive building there. Alright, well, at least Norska Towers are pretty rubbish. Oopsie, yeah, I just, uh, I didn't realize he had that there. Alright, we should go near our reinforcements, go set up over here. And we should not wait for them to show up, we need to go in here right away. Alright, at least I've got magic and he doesn't. But yeah, oh dear. Oh dear. We just need to charge in here, create as much of a blob as possible, and um, use our abilities. Because that's going to be the key to victory here to overcome them. Yeah, the Marauder Berserkers are going to be a little bit, bit of a problem. But another thing to keep in mind is that we do have the Brass Cleaver, so we'll have an 8 melee attack bonus over them. But yeah, their towers are going to get a fair number of kills. I don't think there's any way we're really going to be able to stop that. Yeah, by keeping them here, they're keeping some units over this way, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Alright, I don't think this guy is going to shoot at us. I'm going to charge in there. Does that look like an okay? No, we can wait for better. Alright, we got nine kills, that's alright to begin with. Come on guys, get over here. Kill the southerners! So yeah, we want them to blob up so we can use Searing Doom and also this one here. I only get three uses of that. And this is pretty damn dangerous. Yeah, this tower seems to have stopped shooting. If we fight in this area here, we should be okay. And we got some reinforcements coming, which will help. Okay, bring them in. Alright, and charge into its rear there. Cool, get out of that without taking any... Oh, I took a little bit of damage. Okay, I need some support here. Yeah. Wolf Freak's taking a bit of damage. But at least we're getting rid of this Marauder Spearman, so that's good. And this one only did 725 damage. Most of that took bloody Wolf Freak. Right, get over there. Oh, 
Nigger is done. Mortal fool. Wilfric the Wanderer. Yes, Lord. The Black Marthy waits. All right, those Save can be a bit of a sorcerer. problem. But I think I'd much rather get rid of the mar these marauders. How much damage are they doing? Quite a lot. Okay, I'll try to get Wolfric over there to sort that out. Good, they look, came into melee there. Alright, you know, we get a bit of magic, get a bit of magic. Um, good. Alright, Wolfric. This looks like a pretty good opportunity here. Because this should bounce. Ah, oh, it didn't. Alright, that wasn't that good. It's good they keep bringing more units over here, that is good. How are you going for damage? Yeah, you're doing right. Wolfric the Wanderer! Shame on sorcerer! Show the master! End them! Got that tower over there. I hear you! Slay the unbelievers! Shame on sorcerer! Okay, decent amount of damage here. Good, that was a good cast. Alright, damage is okay so far, so that's good. Getting a bit of frame rate loss now. So how did those guys end up doing? So only 3,000 damage. That's not too bad considering they are really good units. So every time we cast, we get the um, the metal shifting for extra weapon strength. So that helps. Wolfric the Wanderer. Smell that bear. Marauder chieftain. Battle ready. Yes. Hmm. Daven. Not too much damage. Right, not too much damage. But yeah, the wizard is doing a good job. 20,000 damage already done. Okay, I think there's a good opportunity here for one of these. Definitely try to make sure it doesn't... <laughs> if it bounces back into us, we're in big trouble. Woo! Man. That was a nice bounce. Imagine if it went bounce right into here. We'd just be doomed. Because <laughs> that can do a lot of friendly fire. We're okay. We're okay. This is going pretty well so far. Okay, that cast from Wolfric did a lot of damage. The odds should be a bit more even now, so that's good.
Oh, that's good there. Yeah, having them Royal Horsemen come into melee, that's awesome. It's really bad for them, but it's good for us. Got one more of these. Why do you use horsemen? Um, they have more horsemen than I do, so if I bring them in, they're just gonna get caught. Um, I could probably use them to cap some points over yes, here, Chieftain. but I just don't think it's gonna be helpful. I think the best thing I can do with the horsemen right now is just keep them in reserve. Alright, here we go. Should bounce that way. Need to get over here. Oh, this guy here's got a lot of kills. Oh no! I'm out of magic and I'm out of abilities. Well, how much damage does we end up doing? 132,000. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's like three or four full units. And this Marauder unit here is just getting absolutely dumpstered on, so that's good. How close are we to army losses? I think we've still got a little bit more to go. Might be easy to go over there, actually. Push for this, push for this. Someone's broken. Let's go, go, go. Got these guys here to keep dishing out more damage with range. It's kind of weird the AI having more range than us. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's try and break through here. But yeah, we're out of special abilities. Now we just got to try to get the win. Capping this point here and getting rid of two towers will definitely help. But I got to break through this first. Yep, it's definitely good if we can fight these mortal horsemen in melee because that's not what they're good at. Almost through. We can finally smash this unit, it's got nowhere left to go. Okay, it's. Okay, I think it's about time for us to start using our cavalry here and capping points. Now's the right time, let's go. Now that we've thinned them out, and I think I've got the numerical superiority. They're going to try to use their towers to win. So now, we cap their points, get rid of their towers. about this is that we've got really evenly spread out damage so the recovery time is going to be pretty good all right let's go to the center The 
That's what the master's been! Yes, sword! Bring us to Carter! If you yes. could prevent this one here from getting capped, that would be really good. Wolfric should always be where the fight is because of the brass cleaver. Got to give our guys more melee attack, so... Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's about to be capped. Okay, go. Alright, bring these guys around over here to help them out a little bit. Good, capping this is going to reduce their leadership and their melee defense. They're not winning. Okay, these two go for Lamont Dahl. Okay, three points are capped now, that's good. Over here, help him out. Your will. Yes, Chieftain. How are we going over here? This this seems okay. This this is the true path to demonhood. Yeah, Lamontal's going down. That's good. Gonna be a period victory. We've lost about half of our army so far. Okay, but this guy here has got fleet footed. And that dude down. Yeah, also with the momentum, that's giving us more melee attack, leadership, and vigor. So we're in okay shape. Everyone? Everyone? No, not yet. Okay, we killed the enemy lord, that's good. So, they're all routing, that's great. Okay, Wolfric should not be in here like this. Oh, imagine if Wolfric got wounded in this battle here, that'd suck so much. We want their eyes! He'll get out, he'll get out. Just gonna move it. He's done. Yeah, he's done lots of good damage, but get out. The master's puppet. Okay, these guys come over here. Wilfric the Wonder. A killing cow. Why is it a minus cinema battle anyway? He built defenses here. Yeah, minus cinema battles haven't been removed from the game. They're just way less likely to occur. Oh no, you don't. You again. Sorcery. Taking out three ta uh, three capping points. If we get the other two, we'll win the battle. I'll take heads. Making my way. Right, I'm gonna have Wolfric go and try to cap this on his own. Chaos Marauders! Deaths are assured. Because, yeah, I don't think... What's killing us is the enemy units. It's the it's the goddamn towers. Shame on sorcerer. Oof, these guys here taking some damage.
Come on. Come on, go for that. Go back. This unit here is getting wrecked, get it out. We're so close to capping all their points. Yes, Lord. I've seen death. Chaos comes. Wolfric, no Good. Wonder. One more point to go. One more point. Get over here, Wolfric. Shame on sorcerer. We're almost in. Ready to murder. Isn't Doomkeep a provincial capital? Um, yes, but I don't think that matters if it's a Norskin one. There we go, we won. All right, I don't think any units got wiped out, but it's definitely a Pyrrhic victory. I took a lot of damage. Uh, Great Salvation here, 2.49 euros in the chat. Do you want to do a dwarf campaign without the walls? I do not, no. Thanks to the chat. Yeah, definitely Pyrrhic victory. All right, that's going to take a little bit of time to recover, but that's okay. At least, at least these guys here are defeated. Is fellow Wanderer Nakai's defeat trait good for Wolfric? Yes. Yes, it is. Alright, no need to go wiped out. Fair bit of damage, but at least that is the end of them. Okay. What I way preferred it if he came out and attacked me. Alright, we've scored this dude here. Who okay, we're in the red. How are we gonna deal with this? Tribesmen, gather! Despoil and ravage! What? Outstanding. Yeah, you want to get those swellings of doom going. Need that growth. Alright, so that's giving us an extra local recruit capacity. This way we can get some marauders. Marauder horsemen, I mean. Got a fair bit of money. So, just curious call about Bellicor. Yeah, he's some way stronger than us now. Um, Neither are my true name. There is more. Oh, that gave him something to do. That was nice. And that's improving relationship with him a little bit. And if he goes down that way, he might encounter other factions that he'll go and declare war on. That was, that was actually pretty good. Alright, but we've got loads of money that we should focus on construction. Um, I think we've got enough cavalry for now. A certainty. Yeah, I, I kind of need to get rid of it. Chieftain of the tribe. And get rid of him as well. Yeah, there we go. That's sort of a money problem. Uh, Doomkeep is a... Ah, oh, right, you are correct. Add defenses to the settlement. Battles here will be unwalled settlement battles. So minor settlement battles do come from Norsecan settlements, right. So they may not have had the garrison building. Right. Yeah, yeah, you were correct. Okay. Uh, let's upgrade the Doomkeep. Well, I'll know that for the next time I go up against a provincial capital. All right, the next one we want to go take I out is Sertha F. Which master do you serve? Who is way stronger than us at the moment. We need time to recover. Champions fall. Okay, might be a good idea to give Wolfric extra melee attack for Marauders, considering that's what we're doing. Might have been a good idea in that previous battle. Yep, go with this. Uh, let's be real, I'm only ever really going to use Searing Doom. <laughs> so, Searing Doom and Scouting. Don't really need Arcane Conduit. Searing Doom is really handy these days. Remember when Metal Magic used to be shit? 
Okay, there's also this one here, but I don't think I can justify recruiting any more units unless I put this one here in a camp stance. Hang on, let me just see. If I do this... My challenge? Undeniable. No, it's not Where's work. my next quarry? No. Embarking. Mind. My road is all. Without doubt. Uh, get rid of this for now, and we'll we'll see about. Hang on, let me look here. Mm. Yeah, we need to focus on our economy to begin with. I the might get better units later down the track. Do I have any recommendations for first campaign of very hard difficulty? Play something that you enjoy. That's that's the only thing I would recommend. Um. I don't, I don't know what you enjoy, but that's what you should pick for your first, like, tough campaign. Yeah. Try to have fun. Alright, and these guys here... Let's find they somewhere like us a little bit. They could still declare war on us, but we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, I can't really do anything else until I recover a little bit. We've got more money coming in soon when we upgrade this. Um, those guys there are... Yeah, okay, let's move on. AP became a new member. Right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Did Metal Magic get a buff? Not really. It's more a case that the AI kind of blobs up a bit more. Uh, well, maybe it did get a buff. At least Searing Doom seems to be more powerful now than it was in Warhammer 2. Does encamp still give upkeep cost reductions? Yes, it does. So yeah, it might be good to go into an enemy region and go into encamp stance. Four horse axemen are pretty bloody strong. Yeah, they are. They're just money problems. Oh, okay, well. I was going after him next, <laughs> so... A quest has been issued. Yeah, we end. are not ready a for this. Great adventure beckons. No. Be wary, though, for while the potential. Lo the item's really good. Come on, what are we? Okay, here we go. The item's really good, but we're not ready for that. All right, if we have a look here, he is fair bit stronger than us, but we only need to go up against Sertha Eck. So if somebody could go and no scout a little bit. Journeying. Uh, we should see him coming down here if he does come down. Life is a simulation to a 10 pounds of shed. Oh no, hang on a second, not this guy. I don't want your filthy money. Someone ban this. I see what you're trying to do there, but thanks for the super chat. I'm just reading out what you wrote, making it sound like I don't want your money. Fair enough, fair enough. Thanks for the super chat. Very funny. The crow directs me. Mm. Fear me. So yeah, the this camp's. This stance here does give us replenishment rate of 20%. Good. It's pretty good. And it also reduces it. Okay. our upkeep costs. Hmm. Try to get us back up to scratch. We could use a few more units, I think. Alright, Nagel Farley Plains, we can grab Marble. But that doesn't provide a global bonus. Didn't it used to? Didn't Marble used to reduce our construction cost faction-wide? Did they get rid of that? There's no global bonus there. Where are my global bonuses at? Why would they make it less interesting? Uh, Modest did a 5,001 super chat. Hey, Lichin. Been trying to catch up in your Kairos live stream. Do you think it's worth it to turn a Sorcerer Lord into Demon Prince of Zinch? Yes. Thanks, super chat. Yes, I do think so. Alright, and yeah, just keep going with the growth. You have found me. What will you ask? Hmm. Am I mistaken, or did um, Marble used to provide uh, reduced construction costs? So they took it away, did they? Overrun the world. It was for Chaos Faction. To the four corners. Yeah, it was for the Warriors of Chaos for sure. Yeah. Um. All right, I just I gotta find where Sertha the Egg is. I don't know. Moving out. Upkeep thirty percent. You have my favor. 
Undefeated. An unstoppable force. It doesn't reduce our winds of... Sorry, it doesn't reduce our replenishment rate. However, the winds of magic get reduced there, so I don't think that's a good idea. Alright, and you come over here and just recruit a couple of... Uh, Sertha Egg tends to recruit Cav. Let's get some spears up in there. Alright, over here. I don't have any trade agreements, but let's do that anyway. And just go ham on growth. I've noticed in campaigns I'm doing now, the global bonuses have gone check the other resources. They might have gotten rid of them all. Maybe. I don't know why they did that. That's not good. They actually made um, Norska really interesting, and then they start taking away things. Doesn't make any friggin' sense. Doesn't make any friggin' sense why they do that. Quick, this faction's too much fun. Let's make it less interesting. Alright, let's move on. The other raiding stance give magic regen. Oh, right. Yeah, they changed that, didn't they? Well, I can't get replenishment in that stance. I need to heal a bit. Kind of feel like Sertha Ek is going to pop down over here. I mean, I'm threatening his capital. I just, I just don't know what he's doing. Events minus seven. Events minus seven. Three. Oh. Well, at least that's providing um, public order. Alright, well, I can hit them at Varg Camp. If we have a look... Yeah. Military... I, hang on. Yeah, I just don't know where he is. We're equal strength to him now. I do kind of feel like he's swinging around this way. I hear you. Where's my next quarry? Yeah, Winds of Magic Power Reserve plus 10 per turn, right. Oh, look at this. The provincial winds in this area sucks. And I need that for my wizard. My wizard. We are both true savages. Yes. The hound compels. The eternal challenger. Alright, well, we can maintain our... Okay, there's someone. I didn't see him there. Just hang on, hang on. In agreement. Hmm, alright, who's this? Tar, okay. Let's fight. I probably could have reached him. Challenge? Yeah. Refused. I really feel like they're gonna pop around over here. The Sertha Ek. Yes. Don't know, I don't think he's going for my armies. He's going for undefended territory. That's what it feels like. I How are you doing? Which okay, we're stronger than him now. That's good. They move the plus research on growth buildings. <laughs> Why do you do this to us? That was interesting. Challenge Why do they do this stuff? Still a good, good campaign, but still, God damn it, man! We believe that people are having too much fun, and therefore we are going to put a stop to it. 
All right, well, let's get down over here. See fangs ready. Ahead. All will perish. So I'm leaving that other guy behind just in case they try to whiz back up this way. All right, if I order resolve here, um Order resolve this should be fine. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Now. All right, I really need uh, Wolfric to be sitting inside the settlement. So Wolfric. Force march in there. Sucks about the winds of magic, but uh, you just gotta deal with it. Try to recover. Alright, you just stay. Okay, now I see where Sertha Ek is. That's good. That's good. Alright, if he comes up through here, we need to make sure we're ready to defend this. Okay, they're not recruiting that many cavalry. Who's next? Speak. Chieftain of the tribe. So yeah, there's Sertha Ek there. We just need to see if we can catch him. Is Order Resolve give more experience now? Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, so sometimes Order Resolve will give more experience due to the sort of weird way that they're calculating things. I'm quite disappointed with uh, that. I, I mean, I don't, I don't mind with them getting a bit of economy nerf, but they've made things significantly less interesting. You know, that's that's just not interesting now. So that's a, that's a real shame. Does CA ever actually explain their philosophy to the nerfs buffs? Not really. Yeah. Well, it's still better than what they like in Warmer 2, so I gotta give, give it that. Alright, here comes Sertha Ek. Just gotta get into a fight with him now. Alright, we're not in amazing shape and we're taking considerable um, Winds of Magic loss, which is really good to have some Winds of Magic. Um overrun the wall this way There he is All right if I can't reach him then there, there's no way he can reach Varg camp I could go Where's into um ambush stance over here in the hope that he comes Not a bit more over this way He's only at rank 1 he's got no wins of magic either but hmm From here is where we're still damaged. 40%, 40%, 40%, 80% 80%, 80%, there. No problem. Okay. And then put this guy here recruiting. And yeah, bring this guy down as well. And we'll see if we'll see if this works. 
Because no. now, he might just whiz right past here, or he might attack us. Um, either way, we, we need to fight Sertha Ek. We should be able to beat him. He's mostly Marauder Spearman. That's not a problem. We need to fight Sertha Ek so we can get this confederation going. No Alright, how are we going, Bellicor? You want to be friends? Let's, let's be friends. I am there. Mm, not quite really able to do anything with that yet. Um, looking at the Aesthetic Legion. As, yes, believe Enough for the join war with the Great see. Orthodoxy. Am I not mm. being too thick? Oh, that could work. That could work. Um. All right. Yeah, that could work. Let's do that. How delectable! You. No, you not with um, puzzle, yes. not with him. I always like to beat the crap out of him. You are here. So hopefully he goes down there and declares war on someone else, and I'll offer to join the war for the trade agreement. Okay, how much of the marble am I selling? Not very much, but at least it's something. Okay, over here, let's get... Let's get growth, and, you know, it's not much money, but at least the building's cheap. Uh, growth, and... Money. Alright, and let's, let's see if this gets pulled off. I think CA is trying to push MP campaigns more, but this is not a good justification. I agree. I agree. I, I don't have a problem with them nerfing mechanics, but when they take away interesting things, um, like actually some value from resources, I don't like that. You know, they actually had uh, Norska really interesting on, on launch. And they've taken away a lot of stuff. Uh, it just, I don't really, I don't know why they do that. I had no problem with the nerf of the economy, like reducing the, the uh, income from ports, in reducing the income from, here we go, 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 Wolfric ambushed him, nice. Nice, okay, we could auto it, but let's fight it, let's do this. Yeah. Look, it's it's not I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm not I don't want to make a mole a mountain out of a mole hill about it. I still think that the Norska campaign is interesting. It's just that I didn't know that that was gone. And that was something that I liked about Norska going around collecting resources and, you know, getting various bonuses out of them. And if they've removed a lot of them or all of them, I don't understand why they did that. It doesn't make sense to me. Alright, they don't have any area of effect damage, right? So if we just charge right into this unit here, with all of our force, it might seem a little bit silly, but the purpose of this is to use his ability to just wreck him. Now, as for our cavalry, I'm just going to keep him in reserve, just because we're outnumbered by their cavalry, so we're just not going to get the advantage on that situation there. And then, before they get a chance to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't worry about that cavalry. The funny thing here is that if he just leaves the battlefield, he gets confederated. <laughs> He's just leaving the battlefield. But we won't get much experience if we don't actually kill him. Yeah, if he leaves the battlefield, that's fine. We still we get to confederate him, so whatever. Chaos Marauders. They will succumb. Recarnet. Give us carnet. Incantation ready. Marauders! Faster! Yes! 
Ulfric the Wanderer. Gellers are the last. Chaos Marauders. This one's gone. Yeah, when they leave the battlefield, probably the army lost them. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of changes here that I don't really agree with because like the experience is now based on kills so if you go into an ambush battle and um, you uh, don't kill any of their units because they just run away straight away you don't get any experience also if you go up against a Rider Primeval Glory army and you like 99% kill sorry 99% damage the dinosaurs but you don't actually kill any of them you gain no experience for the battle so, if you, for example, use a single entity doom stack, and you go and fight an enemy, and you win, and they c don't kill any of your single entities, they get no experience for the battle. Like, watch what happens here, we'll barely get any experience. So, you know, there's... I get what they were trying to do. They're trying to set up a situation where the player has a harder time gaining experience, because it was previously too quick to get to level 50 it was really really quick because you would get experience like you just get a ton of experience from a battle like this but watch we'll, we'll probably get in the couple of hundreds experience so um hmm Yeah, look, I only killed 290 of them, so... Yeah, look at that, 609 experience. Absolutely nothing. If I had auto-resolved that, we would have gained a lot of, um... Experience. Yeah, I need the growth. Yeah, we would have gained a lot of experience if I had auto-resolved it, but I didn't really want to wreck Sirth Ek because... What's his trait? Misshapen. Interesting. Alright, what I'm going to do here is give him a chariot army. Uh, when I can afford it. Slaughter the sheep. I guess I can't right now. Okay, well that's good. We have secured our northern border. Well, I don't think we're at war with anyone now, right? Oh, apart from them. Um, they shouldn't be sending anyone at us. You play in the dark. That is my realm. Okay, good. He's picked a fight with Kothik. I'll do that, because Kothik will get wiped out very early by Nakari. There is more. And now we've got a trade agreement with Bellacor, so we can start being kind of friends with him. The gods might compel. Okay. Now, we want to invade the Chaos Waste, so that I can get, um... Well, the Chaos Waste has got some good stuff up this way. It's all green territory for us. Most territory is green, isn't it? Yeah, most of it is. Uh, there's also Throg over here. Throg does have a tendency of being quite belligerent. So I could come over here and smack Throg. It would seem as though he has already captured Krakadrak, which is pretty damn insane. I would rather just be like friendly with him. So let me see. It's going down to minus 13. I'm considered just hang on, why don't we do this? I'll offer to join war against Krakadrak, and he doesn't want that at all. Um, I, th I think we're going to have to smack him. I think we're going to have to smack Throg, and then I'll set sail from over there. Alright, so the X definitely coming, but I've got to get rid of the bulk of his army. Uh, I think I'll keep the Marauder Horsemen, because I think Throg might have a few monsters. Speak. Yeah, it's... Immediately. Okay. 
It is done. All right, let's, let's get going. The eternal All right, the winds of magic out here is pretty bad. I could trespass through Sarl. I told you want to talk. But Damn if I got military me, access I with it, nah, know. it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to suck up bad winds of magic. I could go into raid stance. Done and done. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah, I guess, let's do it. And let's just make our way through here. Chieftain of the tribe. The eagle guides me. So the will catch up in the next couple of turns. Fear me. Yeah, see if we can get some more good items. Alright, and this province over here, let's get rid of this. Yeah, we're not going to need that in this campaign. And let's get ports. Vog. Yep. More money would be good. Yep. Alright. And yes, what we'll do here is just hunt down Throg, who's probably over here, rather than capturing his settlement. We don't have to, like, conquer him. We just got to go and find Throg, beat him. And then, oh, hang on. Spoil and ravage. maybe, maybe yes, just force march then. Enslave the Because I reckon he will declare war. All right, and that way our army's not too bad. And having Sir Ek on a chariot should be pretty good. All right, over here we've got this as well. Cool. All right, and yeah, reduce construction costs and increase growth. That's good. All right, is there any more diplomacy we can do? Broken wheel. No. 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 no, no. Yes. Okay. Let's move on. Why so many lords? I don't know. Supply lines aren't that heavy of a cost in Warhammer 3, and you can use them for bait. So trying to ambush enemy lords can be really useful in Warhammer 3. Is it uniting Norska the priority? Eh, it, it can be. It can be. Um, that was how it was in Warhammer 2, because you, Norska was the only profitable territories, but in Warhammer 3, just about everywhere is profitable, so having some factions that won't immediately hate you is quite useful. Typically speaking, the best way to expand is through the most hated enemy's territory. Or if you don't have any true enemies, go after easy targets. Speak. Yeah, Trollfang Dagger. Dagger. Um, how about we give this one the Brass Cleaver? And I'll give this one the Trollfang Dagger. Since he actually fights. Alright, keep him in raid stance so we can make more money. Especially as we um, go through enemy territory here. Yep, you're catching up. And this region over here has... Mm, okay, wins of magic. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, cool. Get some more money. Growth. And... Growth. Cool. So we'll see if there's any useful um, resources from, from that over there. Yeah. If I declare war on Throg now, he might start sending his forces over here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, let's move on. Does Norsko still have a trait that reduces leadership by 3 and one that reduces by 5? Yes, it does. Which god am I going to max out? Uh, probably Nurgle. Alright. So, income's increasing. Well. 
Military presence of five. That means there is a full stack sitting in one of these settlements. It's probably Winter Pyre. And... Yeah, he's got... His strength ranking has gone through the roof. Bring death. If I go trespassing on his territory, he will definitely declare war on me. It's just that this is a preemptive strike. Okay, I think I will hit the settlement over here. Take what's theirs. But let's just you have my favor. get over here first. Sent by the okay, now we'll, um, Sertha Ek has caught up. So we'll hit Monolith of the Flesh next turn. Actually, overrun the world. If I hit Forbidden Citadel, what if I split my forces up? I think I might do that actually. All right, I'm going to recruit a few more units here since our finances aren't too bad. I'm going to have Wolfric go for the Forbidden Citadel, and I'll send a small force to the Monolith of the F of Flesh. And they'll recruit some more units over there as well. So we're going to split up a bit. Alright, that's all I can do. Let's see about diplomacy. No, I don't want to be friends with them. So. Okay, we can get peace with Nordland, which will probably piss off our potential friends over here. However, I can use this to get a whole presence. bunch of money, so whatever. Now, if we have a look at Bellacor, yeah, he's not super happy about that, but the past trees with Nord uh, Nordland will go away fairly quickly. No need to and I can probably use this later down the track to... Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. But yeah, extra money means extra construction. So let's get some of that stuff done. And let's move on. Isn't Nurgle kind of wasted if you're not going to recruit monstrous infantry? Or does Nurgle not bo boost monstrous units anymore? You're actually right. You yeah, you're actually right. If we're not going to recruit monster units, then Nurgle is a bit of a waste. Yeah, you are actually correct. Yeah, if you're going to go with Burble Spur Spew Pit, then you are better off um, going with monsters, which we're not doing this campaign. I've little time for talking, but much time for killing. Oh, what? Such a surprise! Alright, maybe I'll send all my forces to the Monolith of Flesh then. Choose your words carefully. <laughs> He's like... You're getting too strong. Okay, well, shit. Um, I'm pretty sure he sent some forces down over here. If we have a look, there is only a very small military presence. Okay. Alright, the game threw a curveball at us. We got some money, though. Um, we got some money, so getting out of this war, okay, how am I going to deal with this? Well, so much for being friends with him, holy crap. It's probably because I peaced out with them. <laughs> Alright, well, how are we going to do this? And what's going on over here? I reckon the army from over here is starting to make its way up this way, and it could be Throg, it might not be. Alright, there's seven units there, plus, you know so nine units. Slaughter nine units. Um, let's see. Who should do this? Let's get Sertha Ek to launch the attack on Monolith of, of Flesh. Getting Regiment of Banana there. Alright, so that is four. Northmen come. Despoil and ravage. Done. 
Marauding. Yes, yeah, transfer it all into Sertha Ek there, if you wouldn't mind. Carnage. All right, and then the Wolfric will go on his own on a bit of a wandering. Now, I kind of suspect that they're going to send an army over to Forbidden Citadel. That's what I suspect, but I don't actually know. All right, this should be a pretty easy fight here, but it might need to be fought manually. Yeah, we can't have a Pyrrhic victory. That would not be good. Um, I'm not seeing any major concerns here. Let's, let's deal with it. I'm a total newbie at Warhammer. Should I learn by playing Warhammer 2 or go straight for 3? Uh, I, I would say play whichever game you enjoy the most. And don't worry too much about learning at this stage. Just try to have fun. Sorry, just checking a couple of things real quick. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so let's see here. Yes, Lord. Mm, okay, maybe we shouldn't blob up. All right, we've got cavalry superiority, so I'm going to send them to go and harass the at the start, gods. including Circa X. And we need to wait for the other guys as reinforcements. Alright, let's go harass them. Alright, don't really want to engage with that Marauder. Actually, yes I do. Yes I do. We'll, we'll be able to outshoot him. Just watch out for this one here. So far, so good. A little bit of damage being done, but we're dishing out way more damage than they're doing to us. Good. That one routing, having only killed four of us, that's really good. So they took a bit of damage, but he is beasting, uh, beating these guys. Oh, they are anti-large, but he's anti-infantry, so and they are considered infantry. Sometimes these guys actually shoot outside their range. I'm not sure what causes that. Yeah. So if they get get rid of this one, just chase it off the battlefield. Raw! 
Bring us to carnage! Charge! All will be despoiled! Quick! Get them! Charge them! Did they rally? Yeah, god damn, they rallied. That's what the masters bid! Alright, let's start moving these guys up. Alright, these two, I want them to go and snipe the enemy lord. Because, yeah, we don't want to take too much damage because there could be another army coming up this way. We need to make sure we're in good shape. That's why we didn't order this over. Need to go and hit this. Remember when there used to be a Marauder champion in the garrison? They got rid of that, made the garrisons a lot weaker. Bring us to carnage. Remember we're in Infernal Dominus trade for Norska? Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't really need it in Warhammer 3, but yeah. They get rid of that. That was overpowered, that trait. Plus 5 melee attack for the entire army. That was overpowered. And you, you, while you didn't need it in Warhammer 2, it really helped overcome the enemy melee cheats, which just aren't as severe in Warhammer 3 by a long shot. Right, you guys go over here. Sertha, that way. Actually, Sertha's taken enough damage. Try to get them over there. Faster! Charge! Now! Where's the enemy? Slay every mortal! Corroda, chieftain! Surround that dude. We serve the gods. Chaos marauders. Very well. Orders taken. Good. He's getting his ass handed to him. For the chaos stuff. gods. Move now. Yes, mortal fool. Onwards. Bring us to carnage. Get them! Charge! Command accepted! Honor the drive! All the chaos gods! So and there's the army losses. Cool. Minimal casualties. We should be able to recover in a single turn there. That's good. Did you know you can get Isabella's trait in Worm 3? That's nice. I did know that, yes. Yeah, you have to have it set to Vampire Endgame Crisis. And you also have to defeat Sylvania before the endgame crisis triggers, and then when they come back, Isabella will come back as a lord. And as a hero, they get both. Yeah, I actually saw it today, in a saving disaster battle um, campaign, but it didn't make a video out of it, it just wasn't worth it. It was too easy. But I did see it on the campaign map. Is Treacher available in Warham in IE? Um, you mean Treacherous? Yeah, that trait still exists, but on Heroes it doesn't do anything, I think. Overrun Not entirely sure, though. Alright. Alright. The if there's- as long as there's a non-army there, we should be okay. Alright, financially we're in okay Challenge. shape. So, we also need to get another army going over here, like right away. I'm gonna need to switch this up to local recruitment capacity because we gotta we gotta fucking leg it. Disfiguring scar, misshapen, yeah, so there's minus three, there's minus five. Obviously we're gonna go minus five. And we just gotta to try to hold them back over here as best we can. At least over here we've got ten units defending it. But I'm fairly sure they blew that up. Guess we'll see. Uh, Pontifex did a two dollar super chat. Marienburg now shows under Joint Confederation menu. Yes, they mentioned that in the patch notes. Thanks, super chat. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna recruit from here as well. We need to recruit quick. 
This is gonna cost us money. Tribesmen, gather! Yes, Lord! Yeah, not enough to construct that now. <laughs> oh my god, I have uh, six supply line. The eternal challenger. Yes! Tribesmen, gather! Okay, now if I put him under raid stance, yeah, we can make more money, but I need that replenishment rate, so I'll stay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, dominate. Maybe I should get rid of him. Speak. Save us a lot of cash. Yeah. Dear me. All right. All right, all right. Yeah. So the game threw a curveball at us over the end turn. Oh, well, we're just going to manage it. Okay, we can get a bunch of non-aggression packs, but they're the ones I want to attack. Uh, Septic Claw is about to get wiped out by Hag Grief, so I guess picking up some money over here. Better than nothing. Um, Hag Grief will hate us for it, but fuck it, they'll hate us anyway. Your will. And with that money, I can buy... Not much, but I can buy... Yeah, getting Varg Camp, the ports. The ports are what we need to be getting the most. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and let's move on. Drank so far? Yeah, sorry. Alright, that wasn't Throg. Alright. So that was good. Easy money. Not a chance. To a present six. Yeah. Still think that there's an army on the way. This way. Using this guy to scout ahead a little bit. The hound compels. Hmm, not sure. A timely arrival. Wow, they're equal strength to us. Overrun the world. The camping. God damn it. Felman Ingerson is heading towards Tribesmen, gather. Um the Grayling Moot has got seven units in it, plus what? three. Um You're it's pretender. possible he's heading towards now. the monolith of Bureaucal Bloody Hand. And if he does that, we've actually got a chance of defending against it because it's at least it's a minor city battle. Um, I don't have access to any regiments of renown yet. There's no way I can beat him. I'll have 12 units, sorry, 13 units versus his 20. Um, I hear you. Overrun the world. Yeah, he could really pick whichever settlement he wants to attack. Denied. I guess one thing I could do, like he could go for the Grayling Moot, but if I put this guy out over here, he might go and attack this, buying this guy just a little bit more time to recruit. Because yeah, he really caught me with a pants down there. We had, we had uh, treaties with him, but he just straight up broke it. I may need to disband this guy. Could you just scout ahead a little bit more? Alright, looks like we're free to take the Forbidden Citadel. You should leave. Chieftain of the tribe. Champions fall. Yeah, no throg there. Alright, um, minor city battle. 
Yeah. So that's the garrison here. There's some good units in there. So our garrison should reflect that as well. Seeking, destroying. You got a Norsecan settlement, won't you have towers? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll have towers here, but not at the Grayling Moot. We need to try to get him to attack the Grayling Moot. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, the monolith of Burekil Bloody Hand. Slaughter the sheep. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a no defeat campaign this time. I don't think that's going to happen. Um. You're a pretender. Okay, you need to recruit. There's no red. Hang on, let's let's get this battle here done. He's in force march. You don't think you can get to the settlement yet? No, no, no. If I can reach him in standard march, he can reach me in standard march. Because my guys don't have any uh, movement range boosting either. He can reach us. That's not the end of the world if he takes the settlement. You know, as long as as long as Wolfric's army doesn't get wiped out, it should be fine. Because if he takes the settlement, then all we got to do is defeat him, and it'll just confederate it back. Um, but yeah, if we can manage to get into a, um, a defensive siege and a minor settlement, the towers, while Norskan towers don't do a lot, um, hmm, yeah, we really need to have more than a seven unit gap. It needs to be bigger than that, because Norskan towers just don't do very much. And it's on very hard battles, because this is going to get cheats. We just haven't, don't have enough time to prepare. Alright, Wolfric is level 8, so maybe if we can get That's two... I don't think we can get two levels up from this. But if we did get two levels up, it would allow us um, enough experience to get our first regiment of renown. Just going to do what we usually do and just charge through here. Yeah, in hindsight, maybe I should have just attacked uh, Felman Ingerson, uh, the Scalings. Probably should have just attacked him. Because you can get the jump on him pretty easily in the beginning of the campaign. And now I'm all the way over here, fighting Throg. Throg usually declares war on us, which is why I went after him first. But I thought I'd have a bit more time before he would. Yeah, the Norskan Towers don't do much. If it's the same layout as this, hi um, holding out these positions here usually works out pretty well. Wolfric the Wanderer. Acknowledge. Pillar of Champions. Wolfric the Wanderer. We are in a little bit of a pickle. Because, yeah, if we look at these towers, they don't do very much damage. As you can see, they're not doing much. Like, you might be able to rely on them to take out one unit. Maybe. Yes, Lord! Give us card hunters, men! Prepare to ruin! Just trying to think how I could possibly beat Phil and Ingerson. This battle here doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, but I don't think we're going to have any problems. 
Because another thing is that if we had some abilities, that could be useful, but I don't have anything. Norskin Lords kind of suck at rank 1. Army losses shouldn't be too far off. There's only 10 units to deal with here. Uh, you mentioned every creator have a reference in 1 3. What's the reference tariff get? Oh, no, 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 no. Not every creator. Some of them do. Some of them do. So, Milk and Cookies has got one. Turin's got one. Uh, Mandalore's got one. Uh... I think who else? Uh, Lawmaster of Sotek has got one. Ready to murder. Everything must die. I know there was another one, I just can't remember off the top of my head. Chaos Total Biscuit, he's got one, that's it. But I don't believe Tariff does. No. Italian Spartacus? Uh, I don't actually know if Italian Spartacus does. I don't actually know. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Let's just move over here. This is where their units are. And what we'll do is we'll actually go through this way here. Why go where there's a barricade? We'll just go through here. Oh, that Searing Doom seems to be... Okay, we won. Cool, cool, cool. A little bit of damage. Hopefully Throg isn't around the corner. Uh, but if he does, um, we should be okay. Lionheart? I don't think um, Lionheart does. No. What's TB's re reference? Total Biscuit. Uh, there is a rogue army called Jean Le Bain. I think. I think he's a Bretonian lord. Yeah. I think it's a rogue army. Uh, there's also a reference to Henry Cavill, obviously. Alright, uh, yep, occupy that. And, yeah, let's see here. Another one of those, that's good. Alright, doesn't look like anyone's coming up this way. Outstanding. But yeah, we're in a real pickle here. No. See, if I can reach, Move look at this, if I can one. reach him with that much movement, with a level 1 Lord, then he can definitely You're reach me. Tender. Now his army is probably fairly basic, but so is ours. If we have a look what? at our garrison, we've got a Berserker... No champions. Got a, yeah, got a little bit. Got a little bit. Speak. And no regiments of renown. Despoil, we can now globally recruit in one turn. Enslave the southerners. All right. So let's let's try this. Let's try this. Um, if I could get him to attack us from like. Chieftain of Over the tribe. here. Journeying. And then what I'll do is recruit one in here, one in here. Get actually get a spearman because you need to be able to hold. And get three. Oh, no. Oh my god. If he attacks us now, that's not going to get done, and it'll um, 
That still cost money. Sometimes you gotta risk it. You gotta risk it for that biscuit. Having three additional units in here will make all the difference. So this gives him three choices. He can go for the more difficult battle at Monolith Burekill Bloody Hand. Tribesmen, gather! Yeah, he can go for the easy, the difficult battle here. He could go for an easy battle here, or he can go for an easy battle here. Um, if he goes for that one, that's the best course of action. That's what we have to hope that he goes for. The one that I'm hoping that he doesn't go for is Monolith of Bureau Bloody Hand, because we're not ready for him. Um, if I recruit another Lord and leave him outside the settlement, that can help as well. Just provide extra order resolve power, but we're bleeding money out of our ass by doing that. Okay, actually, that, that makes a bit of sense. Let's, let's recruit another misshapen Lord here. Okay, put him on this side. So, okay, what what um, he could do as well. Tribesmen, gather. Hang on, good idea, good idea. Enslave the southerners. Marauding. Okay, put Keep you over here in this stance, so that he gets extra stats. <laughs> but th from Die. that point there, he should be a little bit more difficult to reach. So what we're doing here is just adding whatever we can in terms of strength to prevent this settlement here from falling. It is done. Okay, now I need to make sure I'm in raid stance or else we are just not going to be able to pay for our troops next turn. Um, Sertha Ek, just be careful. Move down here in ambush stance because I really don't know what's going on down here. Also, that gives us more magic. Speak. So yeah, this this here, this situation here is gonna be really tough. Okay, so once again, these are the the scenarios, best to worst. The best case scenario is he attacks this settle, this army here and can't reach anyone else. That gives us more time. The second best is that he attacks Grayling Moot. We won't be able to win, but it buys us time. The worst case scenario is that he attacks us here and wins. That's the that's devastating. Um, but if he attacks here and loses, then that's great. But I just don't think that that would happen because our garrison's just not good enough. Um, but I'll do what I can. We've got enough money coming in that might be able to pay for those units. But I might need to cancel the posture. Oh, hang on. Demolish this. Oh, that'd be good for Sertha Ek. We, we can just rebuild it. And let's see what we can do in diplomacy to try to get some money. Pretty much nothing. Yes. So, yeah, big trouble over here. We just have to hope. Oh, another thing that he could do is besiege the settlement and not launch the attack. If Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why don't we do this? Why don't we let you recruit from here? Because that way, if he besieges the settlement and doesn't launch the attack, we still get to recruit. If he besieges it and doesn't launch the attack, then I might be able to bring these guys in and win. Out in the field, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. A step too far. All right. Well, let's see how we go. Limbs Hemworth, the Witcher. Yeah, that was that was a weird thing to have happen. Hmm. Seems like uh, Henry Cavill had a falling out or something with um with the with the producers of um the Witcher or something. I don't know. Poor Henry. I, apparently he left. Apparently he left. I, I don't think it was the other way around. I don't think he got fired from it. Alright. Any turn coming up. Watch him just leave? Mm, I don't think so. Th that situation is too good for him. He's really got us by the balls in that situation. The AI will leave if they feel like there's a chance of... Okay, here we go, here we go. 
<laughs> Best case scenario. Alright, withdraw from that. He, he might still get us, but that's okay. Oh, he didn't get us! <laughs> oh, suck shit. That gave us enough time. Well, we'll probably be in the red. Oh, we're not. Oh, suck shit. Madness. No. Oh my god. Oh, you gotta love it when a plan comes together. Yes, Alright. That got us quite a few additional units. Yeah, we were able to recruit three units over here and no units over here, but I can transfer them over here now. Um, I don't know if an army at the Grayling Moot would be able to reach. Let's just have a look. This guy's already been recruited before. Let me just see. Yeah, he can't reach the Grayling Moot now, so that's good. This is curious. Oh, that was that was really lucky. That was really lucky. Okay. Undeniable. Advancing. You know nothing. True savages. Yeah. Done. Yeah, we got you. I don't think they saw us coming. Carnage at last. Alright, this way it's kind of a fair fight. One army versus one army. Yeah, come out of uh, raid stance there. Hmm. Order resolve would probably wipe him out. We'll replenish pretty quick. I'd say take the order. Plus we get more experience from doing that. Yeah, we'll replenish pretty quick if we go into encamp raid stance. Plus, I'm pretty sure that uh, Throg is all the way down here. I heard the writers and directed hated the games and books. Yeah, see, I don't understand this. Why would why would you hire somebody to work on a project that hates the source material? I don't understand why this happens. The eternal challenge. Okay, we can't auto resolve this. Um, if I go into encamp stance, we can improve this one's stats. Wipe them out. Oh, I can't go into encamp stance now. Well, we got to rank ten, so that's good. All right, what do you need now, Wolfric? Um, it would be good to reduce upkeep costs, but you've got this one over here reducing it by 15. Alright, let's get um, extra replenishment would be good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like Lord of the Rings Star Wars? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we gotta fight this manually. I don't think it's a minor city battle. Nice. I got this guys. I reckon the AI, they're just getting super order, um, experience sheets. Yeah, it's a field battle. Um, yeah, I should be fine. This is good. I heard that Cavill has left to make a Warhammer series where he will be playing Carl Franz and Legend has been approached to voice act for Crazy Thank World. <laughs> no. Well, I can tell you that I'm not not doing that. I would. I would if offered. But uh, that, that I don't think so. Alright, uh, reinforcements coming in from kind of a bad angle there, but I think that's fine. I just really want the wizard to come in, because I don't really want to use the army apart from the uh, the Marauder Horseman, because I don't want to be damaged. Leader of savages. 
Mm, I, I think they might wait before charging in. Let's just see. Shields up. Yeah, they're going to wait before charging in. That, that gives us some time to wait for reinforcements. Alright, we should also fight in the water because, you know, we will lose... Oh, that's not water. That's just... That's just blue ice. Okay. But yeah, I want to make sure Sertha X army is the one that takes the damage. The author does hate the games, but I get the feeling that he's extremely jealous. Yeah, I've heard about that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird thing going on with The Witcher. Um, because the games are based on the books. They're like sequels to the books, but he didn't write the story to the games. And in many ways, the games are more popular than the books. And I think he didn't think that uh, the game would do anything other than just make money. Yeah, the author of The Witcher does seem to be a bit... Um, I don't know how to put it. Doesn't, doesn't see the value in video games. Even though it's like the biggest entertainment industry in the world. Alright, so let's start harassing them. We jealous and angry in his mansion? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Made shitloads of money off it. Whatever. Get moving. So yeah, what we want to do here is just try to make sure that Sertha X army is the ones that are taking damage. But th these units here can take a little bit, it's fine. Hard to like control pay attention to two groups of Marauder Horsemen in different areas. But I think we're managing just fine over here. Especially on this speed as well. Yeah, that's it, get those hounds of the brute. What are they called again? Brute of the hound, sorry. Charge into that. Charge into that. Good. Now they're together, this will be even easier to manage. Okay, these ones here are out of ammo, that's fine. Alright, we've got a fight going on now. Break the Wanderer. Ready to kill! Annihilation! for a bigger blob to show up before we use that. Yeah, 
we'll run we'll this dude down. Don't let him come back. Bitch. No, Wolfric is not handling that very well. Get back. Would a run like this have been possible in Warhammer 2? Yeah, I'd say it's possible, but you'd be... You'd, it'd be a big grind. Really, really big grind. And you'd have to be very careful every step of the way. Dude. Now, hounds are. Sorry, the brutes of the hound, they are unbreakable. Didn't Legend already make a run like this in Women 2, the No Mammoth Challenge? Mm, yeah, but that was like years ago. And I'm pretty sure I used an exploit anyway. Uh, I think I was using the No Economy Cheese, where you just stay in raid stance and don't take any attrition, but you got no economy. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Cool, not too much damage done to Wolfric, and I think the casualties were the Horsemen, which should recover straight away. So... Good progress being done against Throg, and the mere fact that we bought a single turn against um, Hellman Ingerson is, you know, something to be grateful for. No ranged infantry, not good. Uh, I prefer not to get the ranged infantry for Norska until the late campaign when you're actually going up against large creatures because they're anti-large. Because their marauders, they're, they're like the marauder hunters, they're just not really that good. They don't have much ammo. They're armor piercing, and most of what you're going up against just doesn't have much armor anyway. Alright, well, that was good. Hmm, could do that with thingy. Jeez, even after all that, he's still fairly strong. How much territory does he have? Five regions. Definitely would prefer to just confederate him, but... To the four corners. Well, All right, I think what we should do here Despoil is unlocked. actually force march Wolfric into the settlement. Although Champions it would be better on our finances to put in raid stances, just that we need to replenish quicker. Overrun the world. On the move. Yeah, that extra Keep replenishment really comes in handy, line. and we'll just put you Done. in raid stance. Yeah, to try to make... We're trying to recover as much money as possible. Alright, cool. What do you need? Okay. Now, over here. We now have a regiment of round, the Ice Horn Marauders, which... They're okay. Their main thing is that they have uh, perfect vigor. Tribesmen, gather! Now! True savages. Uh, CJX1 did a 5 euro super chat. Hi, Legend. When a buff says all units in army, are heroes included for a hero based army, for example? Thanks for your help. Yes, they should be. They should be included. Thanks for super chat. Alright. Alright, now we really want him to make the attack towards Monolith of Burekill Bloody Hand. I really want him to do it. So here's what we're gonna do. Slaughter the sheep. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, Despoil and 
Ravage. Yeah, how are we gonna do this? We got ten units in here, plus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we need to trick him. So what we do is we go over here. We're going to ambush dance. Both of these guys here going to ambush dance. Yes, accept it. You force march over here, hand over to your units to either one of those. Get in there. Okay, so what we're doing here is um, he comes into the attack, and with the 11 units that we've got in here, we hold until they arrive. When they arrive, they rush in as quickly as they can and try to capture a point. Um, because those 10 units that we've got in there should be able to hold. Another thing is that if he launches the attack here with these guys out here, um, we might just be able to auto-resolve it. Yes, Lord. Yeah, we might just be able to auto-resolve it. Unceasing. And trick him. And if we do that and win, we confederate him. So, we'll see how that goes. Now, he might back off. It just depends, I suppose, if... You're a pretender. Slaughter the sheep. Lost yeah, they're within down. range. Uh, it just depends if he feels no. like he can win that or not. Tribal Fury. All right, I got a little bit of money, but... Okay, what do we got here? Uh, I don't I don't want to recruit right now. I need, I need cash. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at this. Okay, okay. It still has a global... It's not really a global bonus, but it still has a bonus there. So I think maybe some of the bonuses from resources still exist. Just the marble one is gone. Or maybe it wasn't there in the first place. Yeah, okay. So let's upgrade this one and let's get growth up in there. Let's upgrade Troll Fjord because the port is worth shitloads of money. And just leave that for the rest of the turn there. Alright, have a look in Diplomacy and let's see what else we can do. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Do you wish to be crowned as the ever-chosen two? Hmm. Okay, all good. You can get a skin wolf. Uh, yeah, we're not recruiting skin wolves. All right. Overrun the wall. Chieftain of the tribe. Okay, we'll see how we go. Now, spreading out the units so across these two units here will help if one of them gets detected, but it's the one with the bigger army. Just have to wait and see. Who knows what's going to happen here? All right, that's good. That's easy beaten. Alright, what are they doing? What are they doing? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, one of them got detected and... You got ambushed, I think. Yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> we had absolutely no time to prepare for that. Alright, confederation sorted. Oh man, that could not have been more dicey, but we sorted it out. Thank you. That's what we like to see. God, we had no fucking time to prepare for that. He was like on our ass straight away. Alright, that was sorted. 
Love it when a plan comes together. Alright, so... You want to die now? Losing a bit of money. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Enslave the southerners. Despoil and ravage. Now, the downside to this is now, now a bunch of Empire might discover us and probably... Okay, they haven't yet. Probably declare war on us. Uh, how's Azazel doing? You still friendly? No, not really. Military actions it's against Winter painfully Tooth. Obvious. What do you want me to do, bro? I can't. They declared war on me, you fuck. If I give him a settlement, he'll greatly appreciate it. Ah, fuck is Azazel. If you declare war on me, then I'll beat the shit out of you. You fucking thing. Alright, this worked out really nicely here. So, what are we doing next? I could keep this army, bring it back down here, I suppose. Um, Slaughter the sheep. All right, off you go. Off Enslave you go. And off sheep. you go. Cool. That weakens us a bit, but need money. Good. Get that growth. True All right. savages. Because yeah, that's they're, they're heading towards minus fourteen, and they're gonna. Two. They're going to dislike it even more in a moment. Alright, Ultra Spawns go with that and that. Fear me. Alright, let's, let's do this. Specialty's medium. Alright, looks like it's gonna force me to fight this manually, even though they stand absolutely no chance, but. Just gotta do it. Chieftain of the tribe. You know nothing. No, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. We could encounter Throg at any moment. We need to be at full strength. Alright, I think we got the point with the, uh, the vote. 6,700 votes, 76% say yes. Alright, fair enough. A lot of votes. Hang on a second. How can there be 6,700 votes but only 2,300 people here? What's going on with that? <laughs> people aren't sticking around. Oh well. Alright. What we try to do here is make sure that the healthiest units are up front and the least healthiest units at the back. That way we try to uh, keep our army going strong. Yeah, they'll come in pretty quick, and just wait for reinforcements. guys in here keep this one in the back so that go over there okay let's go harass them I just had an idea how to like I, I wouldn't actually no I probably shouldn't mention it <laughs> it's 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 
it's, it's not worth the ramifications. <laughs> Should I say it? Uh, I kind of want to. I don't know. I don't think I should. But I kind of want to. Ah, decisions. Decisions between making a, a very poor taste joke and having some show some respect. I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do, chat? Do I have a bit of taste? Or do I show lack of respect? Mm, probably shouldn't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Struggling with my inner demons. Yeah, you all say do it, but as soon as I say it, fucking people will run straight to the Reddit and be like, Ah, oh, Legend said this! And then they'll be like, Oh my god, he's such a dickhead! No, not worth it. Not worth it. We won't tell. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. I can't say boop without people running off to forums and being like, Legend said this! Quick hate on him! Crack and break. Dark Shade Knight did a five dollar super chat. See, you are hoping hopping over races reminds me of how I play and let demons out. Heart makes the joke. Nah. Nah. Just just know that it was poor taste. <laughs> just know that it was poor taste. It's not a good idea. Old legend definitely would have done it, but. Nah, I don't think so. Well, actually, no, I should say Young Legend would have done it. Old Legend doesn't want to do it. Okay. I'll tell you what. Why don't I just hint to the joke instead? And then that way you can just fill in the blanks. So, I just had an idea to rename a Slaneshi character. A Slaneshi character based on... Uh, a... Very recent situational... No, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything further than that. It's poor taste. Emirates? No, no. Something to do with the Total War Community. Alright, we got Huskar Plates. That's pretty good. That'll be good on Wolfric. Oh, and a Dawnstone. So this could give him 30% physical resistance. Yeah, Huskar plates, but I'll just take that Dawn Stone, stone and get 30% physical resistance. Nice. That'll be good. Hey, research rate. Nice. Pop that down on you. A certainty. Tribesmen, gather. All right. Money's looking a bit better. We should... Look here. That's All right, we're replenishing at a reasonable pace. I'm going to put him over here in raid stance, but I'm going to put you in here and recruit a few more Marauder Spearmen because we're probably going to encounter some big monsters. Cracker Drac has walls. Enslave the son. Hmm. Darkshade Knight did a fabulous super chat. Fine, old man. Keep your secrets. But also, yeah, Total War community is small, so good idea. Yeah. No, it. Thanks for the chat. Yeah. Sometimes yes. ideas pop into my head, and then I have this little voice that says, Don't do it! It's stupid! 
And it sounds surprisingly similar to you guys. Uh, no. No. Okay, no, 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 look. They still have the global bonuses for resources. Recruit cost minus 10% for Marauder units faction-wide. That's good. Because that's what I'm recruiting. Marauders. Longship graveyard. Yep, let's do that. Pack ass bay. Yes, please. Alright, um... I dare you. I think we should keep this army. They're all marauders, but we should keep them and just patrol the borders here because it looks like Marienburg could declare. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this. That's, that's interesting. Alright, what are we doing here? Uh, we should maybe get... No, that's only 4%. It's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, I wanted to reduce upkeep cost a little bit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I could have done this. That's too late now. Silly boy. Dominate. Diamonds give plus 10 diplomatic bonus to Norskin tribes, by the way. Well, plus 10 isn't very much, and by the time you get any gems... Uh, all the Norse gods are bloody gone anyway. Running out of money now. Didn't I switch? Yeah, I switched this one up for extra recruit. Let's switch that. Didn't change that one. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? Where's oh, I might be able to get some money back because I've... Oh, no, I already had it. Okay, never mind. And what are we researching? We've got that stuff sorted. What would be the most useful? Marauders of the West. Uh, doing... Hang on, which one provides us with casualty replenishment rate? Because we're probably going to need... Oh, yeah, that one there. Casualty replenishment rate plus 10%. Let's do that one first. I think they also reduced the base time on those technologies now that they got rid of the uh, research rate bonus through growth. Alright, let's have a look at... They want peace. They're about to die, so that makes sense. No. No. Decadent host? No. <laughs> no. Actually, you know what? I really can't see myself going after the decadent host for a little while. You did. You so I might as well make some money off them. I'm, I'm just a little bit busy. You may approach. Any recommendation for high off mage trait? Resistant. That's what I would recommend. Resistant or um, limber. Like a limber. Speak. It's quite possible that Throg is like all the way down here. Alright. You know what? Let's recruit another lord over here and I can use him to scout. So I can find out where he is. Get the jump on him. Never got Lair of the Troll King. It's kind of funny how he doesn't start there. Alright, moving on. Darkshade Knight to the Father Super Chat. At Legend of Total War, what's your take on Mixu's legendary lords? I know you don't play modded on stream, but ever check them out in free time. Um I think it's a gr I think it's a really good idea, mod. Um, and I have tried it out before in Warhammer 2, and it is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Adds a lot of le new Legendary Lords. Yeah, it's good. Thanks for the chat. Not knowledgeable. They don't get knowledgeable, and they don't get Entrepreneur. Well, they do get Entrepreneur, but Entrepreneur sucks in Warhammer 3. Are you going to do Monster Hunt quests? Uh, I'm not opposed to it, but we shouldn't do them until Wolfric's army is stronger, and we shouldn't do them until we're a bit, uh, less turbulent, because there's a lot of, uh, wars going on, and our finances aren't quite sorted out very well yet. This is, this is not a good time for it. Nordland was destroyed, that's good. Alright, so I'll use this guy here to just scout ahead a little bit. 
Oh yes. Oh yes. Bloodthirsty. Yes. The eternal. Oh yes. I can reach him. Okay. All right, you stand over, over here. Oh, Throg, you making me happy today. And he's on Force March as well. All right, what do you guys think? Auto resolve or manual? I think I think we should fight it manually. Mm, look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna fight it manually. How was Norska after the income nerfs? I think they're still fine. Um, I was a little bit bummed at first because I thought that they took away the tech, uh, the global bonuses through their resources, but they appear to still be there. All right, I need to get all of our forces together. And... We serve the gods. All right, looks like he's taking a defensive position. He's exhausted, but I want to get my other um, Roller Horseman over here first. Now, going into a blob is a little bit of a risk because they do have Vomit, Copious Vomit. That could do a ton of damage to us, but outside of that, um, I think it's still better to blob up because of Searing Doom. Yeah, use use this to protect our flanks here. Modest did a 5001 Super Chat. Hey Legend, which Chaos Warriors of Chaos Norska Beast Me Mono God faction do you think are the hardest, easiest? Hardest would be Nurgle, I'd say. Easiest would be Korn. Thanks, Super Chat. Or maybe Bellacor. Bellacor might be the easiest. Yeah, Bellicor and Nurgle are pretty... Sorry, Bellicor and Korn are pretty much a tie for power at the moment, I think. Why do you so rarely check the map before you choose to fight? Or is it just that you're so confident that you don't ever need a, a, to plan? Uh, depends on the situation. So if I feel as though the map doesn't matter then I won't check it, but sometimes I do check. Uh, especially with sieges. It largely depends on my army as well. Like, if my army is mostly archers, and we're fighting in a huge forested area, then I'll check, and if I don't like the map, I'll back off. If my army is full of, like, uh, if I'm playing wood elves, then I'll check the map to see if there's lots of trees, and if there isn't, maybe I'll back off. Um, Drarek Cool, did a five euro super chat. Thanks for your, all the content. I've been watching you for free for so long. It's time to step it up a bit. That's okay. You don't own any. Uh, don't owe me anything. Thanks super chat. They got a fire mage. No, they don't. It's only fireball. Don't worry about it. They can't do much. It's not that big of a deal. And they'll probably use up most of their winds of magic. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, shooting these guys. It'll be fine. All right. So with them, we need to be shooting at the Norskan ice trolls. So, Marauder versus Beast. Let's see who wins. Or just just any trolls will do. Hmm. That's it, trolls. Come at me, bro. Rocks, you put them there. <laughs> they fireball their own units. Nice, you moron.
Uh, Dark Shade and I did a five dollar super chat. Uh, that's how I feel. Finally catching live. Cheese for cheese, God. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Broken unit. Alright, even if it rallies, it thinks not worth anything now. Hang on, just, just make sure it leaves the battlefield. Just make sure. Maybe don't fire at it. Cool, these guys are doing a good job. Alright, taking out a bunch of Norskan Ice Trolls I think is a big deal for these guys. unbreakable it must have had the banner on it doesn't matter they'll, they'll beat it actually that's not really going so well Oh, look at that, they're aiming specifically for the, maraud uh, the um, Marauder Shaman. Let's go for that dude over there. Yeah, they're going straight for the friggin' wizard. Charge out at them. We're just taking too much damage there. Just charge out. Okay, d you, damage units uh, stay in the rear a little bit. We don't need to use our entire army. Throg. We serve the gods. Wolfric will probably lose in melee against him, especially while on a chariot. Chaos Marauders! Into position! Into position! No time waste! Okay, that guy's got stuck. Get him out of there. See great costs so much over here at the moment. No problem. Death manifested. Quick! What? A 
obeying. Consider it done. Chaos Marauders. Yes. Close on the ship. Quickly. As you say. Marauders! With speed! So be it! Yes! So be it! I'll take heads! Wolfric the Wanderer! Alright, so we're gonna chariot, because he's not Marauders. high enough level to be on a um, mammoth. Yeah. Prepared to hang! Chaos Marauders! Yes, Lord! Gallus Arthurus! Alright, well, this is looking fine. Magic is dead! Don't be pleased! Alright, Throg's doing a lot of damage, but... Right, we've got a few spearmen fighting him. Um, I don't have anything that's particularly good against him. You really kind of need to shoot him. Alright, just basic mortars there. We should be fine to flank them and break them straight away. Smell that fear! Sorcerer! Uh, though, there's trolls nearby, they're more careful now. Alright, instead go after these Norskin Ice Trolls over here. Scouts for my armor! For the Chaos Gods! Now is our time! No good opportunity for this at the moment. No, that's not going so well there. I was hoping they could just route that troll, but they're just not doing enough damage. Alright, there's the amulet since we beat him. Don't think that went fantastically well. We just weren't really able to get him with like good magic and abilities. Because he spread his forces out. He had a lot of missile units in the army. But at least we kind of spread out the damage evenly. But also, that's just Throg dealt with. Okay, new poll. We need to know, is Throg a Marauder? Is Throg a Marauder? Okay, so what this will do is... You're voting on whether or not we will bring Throg back as a lord. Okay, if you vote no, we will leave him disbanded. Hello, Jim. Just joined the stream. I'd like to ask why only Marauders? I don't know. Just, just doing something different. Alright, we just got Wintertooth and a huge portion of Norska. So we're on turn 18 and we have 19 settlements. That's alright, I guess. What are you doing? Slaughter the sheep. Alright, so given the territory that we've sort of inherited down here. Well, I can't hasn't even finished with these ones yet. We shall experience X. Alright, I don't need this dude. Get rid of him. Of 
Now the problem here is that it opens up a lot of territory, so we could end up losing a fair bit of this. What I could do, because this here is tier 1, I could use this to become good friends, friends, friends with Clan Ferex by giving them Temple of Heimkel and Frozen Landing, you know, just for now. Uh, we can use them as a bit of a buffer state. Yeah, we can use... Hang on. Alright, I'm sure they'll give us a trade agreement in due time, so let's just, um... That's all their money. I know there's iron there, which is good for us. But I don't expect them to survive forever. And they're already at war with the uh, Ropsman clan. So yeah, let's do this to create a buffer. Because I just can't defend all of this stuff right now. Then there's also Frozen Landing over here. Oh my god, I can make them a vassal. <laughs> what if we made them a vassal? That's interesting. Wow. That is going to backfire on us. <laughs> yeah, that is going to... Well, is it really? Alright, fuck it. Let's get a rat vassal. Yes, master. Yes, yes. Okay. Well... Bad idea. Well, here's the thing. Um, AI factions can't declare war on them anymore. Look at that relation. Look at that relation. Um, AI factions can't declare war on them. And vassal income is... 256. Like, those are two good settlements, for sure. We also pulled them out of... Um, those other wars. Interesting. I didn't... Didn't expect that to happen there. Alright, now, we are at war with them. We could come on... I, I don't think we'll get anything from Lair of the Troll King. Uh, let's see, get rid of this, this, this. Fine. Kind of want to go sail over here and just smash... I mean, look at this one. Alright, they are basically beaten, so they're low-hanging fruit. I think we should head over to Port of Secrets and smash them. Alright, what do we got here? What? All Marauders? All good? Okay, what do you got there? Hmm. Trickster's Helm? That goes to Wolfric. Switch. Okay, and then, yeah, bring Wolfric out in the water. And Surf Ek. And we'll head over to the Port of Secrets and bully them. As for tre uh, Lair of the Troll King, I'd say just keep it as a ruin for now. We've also got this guy over here. Our finances are fairly okay. Get rid of his Azel next. He will declare war on you. Why are you so loathsome? So unworthy. You're probably of my right. Attention. Okay. You're probably right. So, what we'll do is with this guy, I will send him to Saral Encampment and wait for that war declaration to actually occur. Yeah, you're probably right. But I'm still going to invade the Chaos Wastes. Alright, let's get Hunter of Champions, and you can have Magical Reserves, and you can have Outstanding. that. Let me 
obsidian here as well. But I don't think we need obsidian for its bonus because all it does is provide chaos corruption. So it's just a matter of whether or not we can actually sell it. Alright, longship graveyard. Let's get growth and money. Actually, forget about growth. Build defenses out here because I'm pretty sure this area is going to get attacked. Same thing with Altar of the Crimson Harvest. Don't worry too much about growth in this province. Let's try to lock it down as much as we can. Uh, Pack Ice Bay seems a bit safer, so I'll leave that be. Yeah, we're going north. Maybe it's wood that reduces construction cost. Now that I think about it, maybe it's wood. Yeah, Norskans don't build anything out of stone. They build everything out of bloody snow and wood. Alright. Who else are their enemies? Okay. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, that was interesting. How much of our goods are currently being sold? 100% and 100%? Okay, cool. So that means some obsidian would be useful. Currently making... 900 through trade. Okay, moving on. Can Wolfric get regen somehow by blue items of skill? No. As far as I'm aware, he cannot get regen. The only way he can possibly get regen is if the endgame crisis vampire accounts happens. As far as I'm aware, there's no item that Norska can equip. But I could be wrong. I think it's marble for construction costs. That's for the Warriors of Chaos. Alright, bro. Fair enough. Okay. Travel the world seeking to Okay, we'll just let Clan Ferric sort that out. Norska doesn't get troll hide armor. I don't think so. That's a beastman item. Uh Carter Thorson did a five dollar super chat. Hey legend. Thanks for all the entertainment while I am on deployment. Cheers from Somalia. Best lord to imprison as if rest. Uh, thanks Super Chat, dude. Uh, Grom is the best one to imprison, typically speaking. But once you've imprisoned and interrogated him once, um, you don't need to do it again. Because uh, his bonus is permanent. <laughs> Sorry. Um, outside of that, maybe vampire counts? I'm not entirely sure. Do multiple resistant traits stack in an army? Yes, they do. Does dedication to Nurgle give regen? Yes, but only through the Lord skills, not through not through here. My blood is quick to Yeah, he'll probably declare war on us, but he's only got one army at the moment. And if we have a look at him, he's still at war with the broken wheel. So let him keep fighting the Zinchian faction. Northmen come. Overrun the world! Let me make our way ready. over to here. Yes. The hound compels. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, this one just stay near Nagel Farley Plains and uh, just keep an eye on that. Okay, Bellicor. We got a trade agreement with him, but relations are deteriorating because of strategic threat treaties with Black. Okay. Right, they're also at war with Leon S. If I do that, we can get a non-aggression pact for the low, low price of 779. Alright, deal. There is more. Good, with relation now heading towards 17. We want to just keep this guy off our back for the time being. Challenge. 
challenge? Undeniable. Right, I'll be landing there next turn. So, as for the Ropsman clan, I'll just let Clan Ferric handle it. I'm fairly sure they can manage, but uh, we will see. We will see. You have Warpstone, yes, yes. Kind of weird. I don't think I've ever had a vassal as Norska before. All right, Monolith of Flesh. If we grab this, no. No, we'll get it from the Monolith of Katan. And there goes my money. All right, if we got gems, we could get diplomatic relations with Norska. Oh, it's only 300. God, give me some money. Give me some cash. Who's got some cash for me? Clan Mulder wants on aggression. Alright, let's do that. Thanks for the cash. Alright, we'll get gems and growth and growth. Let's have a look in diplomacy for other things going. We've got... No, we're going to attack them. No. No, 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 no. Okay, all good. Alright, I need to cancel my non-aggression pact with these guys here. But I don't think I can do that for... Oh, God, I only it a few times ago. Because Bellacor's a war with them, and we want to be friendly with Bellacor. Um, other treaties we could soon get. That. Alright, let's move on. Why no berserkers? No time to recruit or waste for the stage. Well, it's only turn 19. Um, you do need a military building to recruit them. So, berserkers are good. Don't get me wrong. They're definitely good. It's just a matter of... We're just... It's just not cost effective at this stage. Later on, for sure. But right now, probably not so much. Anger me when I'm angry. Oh, I was expecting him to declare war. I will accept that. Yes. I have no intention of coming down here just yet. Best way to get influence is Tory of Rest. Probably still nobles. Uh, I believe you get some influence when you interrogate lords, though. You can get Arachnrock eggs from one of the Monster Hunt quests, those Grant Regeneration. Ah, right, thanks dude, yeah, that's correct, yeah. Yeah, I just forget about all those quest items sometimes. What do you want? You're a long way from- No allies have chosen to get involved. Oh, okay. Well, that's Clan Ferric's problem, not mine. <laughs> Alright, looks like Wolfric's got no problem with attacking this. Alright, we should offer to join war via the Supreme Demon Prince. Diplomacy seemed so very important when I was warned. Mm. I, we, allow me to yeah, that's better. Give me that money. Alright, securing the Chaos Waste is particularly good because there's no invasions that come through here. There's no... Endgame crisis. Yes. It's just all good stuff out here. It's all green territory for us. Lots of resources. Um, it's kind of surprising how rich the Chaos Waste can actually be. And there's actually quite a few ports out here as well. Tribesmen gather. The tribe consents. Bloodthirsty. All right, yeah, Wolfric. You just do this on your own because these guys here they'll land through the port and have some more movement remaining. True savages. All right, we got to get to the crystal spire. 
Uh, Wolfric is the one that needs to do that. No, take what's there. Oops. Oh. In agreement, just spoil and ravage this way. In agreement, I am the one. Gotta watch out that we don't get teleported on top of as well. Journeying. Accepted. The eagle guides me. Maybe if we go through up here yes. in ambush dance, we Set should be okay. Sun. The eternal challenger. So those gems seem to have provided a fair bit of income. Yep, that's good. Alright, still keeping an eye on this. We've got a reasonable amount of money coming in for this turn. And checking with Belagor again. He's reasonably friendly. I don't think he'll declare war on us. Could happen. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it would be good to get some more iron. Uh, although, hang on, how are we going for selling iron? Yeah, we're selling it all. Still, getting the ports, they're just worth so much. We'll just get that eventually. Cool. Alright, so I reckon we hit the Crystal Spires, and then we'll start taking on the Demon Prince out this way. Yeah. And then just start sweeping across all the way through here. Hopefully being friends with... Um, Archeon will allow him to sort this up, and uh, that way we just work. Don't have to worry about that flank. Hey, Legend, any idea if the Croak Quest battle is bug? When playing a Zoxiodal, game keeps crashing when trying it. I'm ac actually not sure, sorry. I'm not sure if it's bugged. Which territory will you raise to dedicate to the gods since you can occupy anywhere? Yeah, that's that's a good question. Um, usually what I like to do for raising settlements is go close to Reichland and blow up settlements in range of their armies while not being at war with them. Because um, what he'll do is he'll just keep ruin dwelling it over and over and over again, allowing you to just keep farming the, the, the stuff. But the thing is, since occupying settlements is valuable for Norska, raising settlements becomes less valuable, except for the fact that those bonuses are really good. Now, those bonuses get better the more territory you have, so you just got to balance when to do it. I think in the early stages of the campaign, it's a mistake, since raising settlements can severely slow down your progress. Are there any unique landmarks or locations, unique trade goods in the Chaos Wastes? Uh, probably no landmarks, but there's trade goods. There's a fair few trade goods. Vassal Archeon, be the true ever chosen. Yeah, that'll be difficult to vassalize him. Looks like we got a bit of a fight up ahead here. Undefeated. An unstoppable force. Alright, I'm gonna give them an opportunity to ambush us via teleport stance. Unroot. I give them that chance. Decamping. Dominate. Marauding. And we'll just see how we go. He can't do it. He can't do it. He's got no winds of magic. Yeah, he can't do it. Uh, so, no sense in doing this then. We might as well raid. Yeah, stay in that stance. Oh, actually, no. Go into this stance here because I need some winds of magic. Uh, we won't get any replenishment, but it's alright. Yeah, he can't use teleport stance. Got no magic. Okay, cool. What are we doing next? Nothing. Money's looking good. Oh, that's because we're in raid stance. Um, 
looking at Azazel, things are calming I down a little bit, but it's still... The military actions against Winter Tooth Let is still a big begin. problem. If I offer to join war against the Ice Court... I don't think that's going to help. If I offer to give him a settlement, the Forbidden Citadel, no. Nagel Valley Plains, no. Longship Graveyard, no. Look, if he declares war on me, I'll just have to deal with it. Just got to deal with it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he will, but we'll just have to hope it doesn't happen soon. Um... Passive income three, nice. Uh, let's have a look in diplomacy and see what else there is. Probably not much. Broken wheel. Nah. Depravity reigns. Nah. Because I'm gonna sweep across here. Unless something over here happens. I don't know. I might attack that corn howling citadel there. Yeah, don't let Archeon have it. Okay, let's move on. Don't Ice Trolls identify as Marauders? Oh god, everyone's a Marauder then. <laughs> if, look. If we have a Marauder-only campaign, and we're just doing it exactly the same as every other campaign, then what's the point? I found the AI is a sucker for settlements. You can draw attackers in on one Lord, support it. Oh, sorry. Um in ambush and they still go for the attack yeah yeah they sometimes do yeah we'll see are you here to negotiate or to be speared no he's gonna sweep across here soon Come on, Skaven, take it back. Oh, what are you doing? Alright, I'm going to have to send that other army back down to Hack Ice Bay, because we can see that there's probably an army of peasants on the way. I'll see if I can get a trade agreement with him. <sighs> Look at this. They left an army outside the settlement. We might be able to draw them out. The gods might compel me to kill, but I do it No, that freely. is not worth it. Alright, how much time before it arrives at Pack Ice Bay? It's like a couple of turns. Yeah, alright, he's not gonna make it there in time, so I'm gonna have to recruit a new army. I didn't put any defenses there. Oh well. Uh, Throg comes back in one turn, so I guess we can put him in there. Well, 13, 9, okay, I, I think we should only send two armies in, so I'll send Sertha Ek, because I think if I send in too much, this guy here won't stand in fight. Damn it. Can I still reach that? No. Can if I besiege it? Okay, I think I know what to do. I know what to do. Besiege. Okay, then get this army to here. Moving out. Get Wolfric to here. Lift the siege.
and then launch the attack with... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. Um... Well, it gave it gave a close victory in order resolve. I, I do not like fighting Zinch out in the field. Damn it, it's just out of range. Oh well. Well, if no units are gonna get wiped out, we've got a good replenishment rate, then we'll recover. We'll recover. Cool. And that's the end of that. That is the end of that. Okay, now, um, Bring death. I submit. Fine. just gotta try to replenish Journey. as quickly as we can. Where's my we can go next? into raid stance. And I think our next top stop will be the Howling Citadel. Okay, how about you pick up a couple of units? Because money's okay at the moment. My challenge? Alright, uh, oh, War Mammoth is rank 18. Okay, Echoes of Ambition, reduce upkeep cost. That sounds nice. Hang on, how much that save us? Yeah, 500, that sounds good. Gift of Tongues, yeah. Uh, World Walker's good. Campaign movement range, hell yeah. Juggernauts of the Sal, nah, don't worry about that. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. And put that. Good. I think I will swing this guy back around just in case he swings pie and goes for the altar of Crimson Harvest. So that was good. That was good. Alright, so actually go with Norse Resilience. You need a bit of replenishment there. So that helps. Uh, no room for global. What else we got? Yep. Huge profit from those buildings. That. Yep. Yep. All right, cool. Norska. Respect corn or die. Maybe I'll leave this one alone. Maybe I'll leave him alone. Yeah. He doesn't like us very much. And they're aggressive. No, I think we should go over there and sort it out. We don't want Archeon to get it. Alright. And let's move on. Uh, let's check for diplomacy again. All Keep good. Me. And let's move on. Jake G did find us in the chat. In 2.1, I got locked out of progression for the first hunt. I think it's because I occupied Azazel's province after I raided it. Yeah, that kind of stuff does cancel out uh, some of the... Um, the monster hunts. You've got to be very careful about how you do the uh, monster hunts. If it tells you to raid a region and then you occupy it, it'll cancel the quest. Blow it up. But well, it's good territory, I'll still take it. I was just concerned that it might be tough to take, that's all. Yeah, they're probably gonna avoid me. Come on, Clan Ferric. Bring that other army over there and... Oh, are you going for that one? Don't just lay siege. Oh, I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to attack. Attack and win. They won, but they only sacked it. That's stupid. They should occupy it. Good, the Legion of Chaos declared one subtle torture. That means they're going to be busy for a few turns. I think we'll need to take out um, 
the Ursin Revivalist as well. Go and smash Boris. I don't think with an army full of Marauders that we'll have too much trouble with him. Unless he's gone with... Stand of Archers. Alright, even then, we'll just charge at him. War Herd of the One Eye was destroyed. That kind of sucks because we could possibly have used them as the cash cow. Alright. I must keep my holy vow. Alright, at least they're taking attrition out here, so they aren't at full strength. So with eight units in there, Slaughter six units the in there, fourteen units. Kick him out for Throg, who is apparently a marauder, according to the poll. Level eighteen. God damn. What? Higher level than Wolfric. Lord of the monster. Oh, those suck. I'm not gonna be able to use any of that. Oh, whatever. Alright, what are we going to get for him? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. But I can't... I can't use it. Alright, just go with Fearsome Warriors. I eat my enemies! Alright, we can't make it here this turn. Let's have a look. Respect mode? Nah, don't worry about it. He's still got plenty of points left, so we can put down. Alright, let's bring him in. Overrun the world! Moving out! The hound compels. I obey. All right, what if, what if, what if, what if, we put Wolfric instead in ambush okay. stance, and you in ambush stance? Yes. We we'll get less replenishment, and then declare Except war on them now, me. and see if they'll attack him. Yes, Lord. Because that army there should be considered stronger than it. Take what's theirs. Your will. Especially if Gather. I give some of these units back. Just surf the Ek. Done. Okay. Oh. Oh, that is so thick. Alright, that's fine. And then declare war on them, and we'll see if they take the bait. Alright, there goes our money. Right, how are we going with Bellicor? How's he f liking us? Welcome. Let me keep you in the shadows. Our strategic threat has hit sort of um peak there. How many more turns until I can cancel my treaty with these guys? Don't mess with me! Watch your Four more turns. Message. Don't want to lose reliability. Alright, let's move on. Can't see anything else needs to be done. Alright, actually, let me check diplomacy again. Screw it. Div Obey. Yeah, we're good. And let's move on. Choose your words carefully. I shall choose my blade. Ah, I bet he's declaring war. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, no. Because after we're done on this side, we're going after him. You want to be good if he could take out um, Hag Grief? That would be good. I think he is actually at war with them. And it's Malice. It was odd watching part two of the Chaos campaign perform better than part one. Is that what you really think? No, you, you, you're just trolling. You're just being silly. I think, I dude, I think what you're trying to do there is get on, like, trying to get me to have a rant. So, just watch it. Got pushed. 
Nice. All right, how bad is this auto resolve? It's pretty good. All right then. Yeah, it's not too bad. Because in the entire history of the channel, no part two has ever done better than part one. And it's never ever happened. Alright, good. They managed to just get out of there. Oh, Cathay! <laughs> that money. Come to think of it, where are the stream VODs? I somehow can't find them on Legend Channel now. So you go to the, the channel, and you know it says videos, and then it's, next to it says live. If you click on live, that's where it is. Um, uh, YouTube recently changed up its its um, user UI a little bit with the um, with the websites. Are they going to attack? No. Alright, 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 alright. So, 1A battle. Okay, well, that's not that useful. Despoil and ravage. I'll have a crack. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Let's see. He might actually be able to win with that. Yep. Because Throg is worth loads and auto resolve. Blech. Oh, they, right, so that's what was going on. They were just out of territory, so they were like, let's go attack the player. Fair enough. Sit back. Yes. Alright, they've got this one standing outside the settlement, but you know he's not going to... Um, not going to stand and fight if I attack him. He'll just walk away. So... Just go straight for the Howling Citadel. I think it was an honest question. I don't think it was trying to get under his skin. Oh, well, okay, the reason why I thought he was trolling is because you can't possibly look at it and think that was actually correct. Okay, it still reinforces you know this fight. Overrun the world. Enslave the silence. And then while we're here, we should probably go and fight Boris. A little bit damaged now. You cannot expand our rage. Do you think the reason behind part 2 plus never beating viewership of part 1 is due to the normal not watching something I haven't seen start off or because the other game is better? Um, there's, there's a number of reasons why viewership always drops off the longer the campaign goes. Very rarely, very very rarely does a subsequent episode beat the previous one. Like a part 4 will always do worse than part 3 for example, almost always. Um, and it comes down to a number of factors. Typically speaking, people usually, um, okay, not necessarily, there's like a portion of viewers, maybe about 10 to 30 percent, sometimes up to 50 percent, that just want to know how the, the campaign starts. And then, once they've seen that, which is usually part one, they'll drop off. Fair enough. Then there's another portion of people that will watch as long as they think that the campaign is challenging. So once that has dropped off, then they leave. As the campaign progresses, part one, two, three, four, five, it almost never gets more challenging. Very, sorry, <coughs> excuse me. 
Um, very rarely um, am I in a worse position at the end of episode 2 than I was at episode 1 and so forth. So all of these factors, which is contributing for reasons for people to show up to a stream, starts to fall off. And we also start to um, order resolve a lot more. You know, when we start to steamroll, and we also start, uh, we also stop talking about the game as much, so people clock off. People start talking about, oh look, there's 1,000 viewers here instead of 2,000 viewers or whatever. And so that causes people to drop off. So as a campaign progresses, as the campaign becomes less interesting, topics become less interesting, people drop off. It's just, this is what happens. You know. World so various people will watch for various things. You know, maybe the football's on, whatever. Um, but you know, it, it varies. You hear some buzzing shit, or is it just me? I oh, do. It's just you. There, there's nothing, nothing going on in the game at all right now. There's no like this thing called the Howling Citadel here. Um, no. If you're hearing some sort of that's a voice in your head, you should probably get that checked out. All right, so they're getting now. some replenishment. All right, now that we've done that. Uh, I think we should hit Monolith of... Ooh, salt. I am salty. Alright, let's 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 go do that. Try to get over here and then... If we have a look at Archaon, he probably likes us. Say, nope. Right, what if I offer to join war against Urson Revivalists? Okay. 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 Should we do that now? There's also the Exquisite Pain, which we should do that when they're just about ready to... Man, look at this. How do I... Yes. If I Good. offer to join they war against Exquisite Pain... Let's wait. Tribesmen, gather. All right, so this guy here... Sertha Ek. Okay. I'm told you want Dominate. Alright, swing him back around over this way. I'll keep Throg here though, for now. I wasn't trolling, had a brain fart. That's okay, dude. That's okay. I nearly banned you, though. <laughs> it's okay. Look, look, here's the thing, guys. We really, really need to stop talking about viewership numbers. Okay, we really need to start. Um, just, we need to stop it with it. We, if, if you guys want streams co to continue, we have to stop talking about that shit. We need to stop talking about CEA and just focus on the game. Because things are tougher now than they've ever been for the channel. And I understand that people just want to watch the game. We need to focus on that. So if we could, if we could drop these conversations from here on out, you know, I'm trying my best not to address. How come there's only two thousand people here and all that kind of stuff? Trying my best not to worry about that. Okay. At the end of the day, every single time we've had this conversation, it's never been fruitful. So we, we're not going to focus on it anymore. As much as I can. I know I, I do get sucked into it sometimes, but we I need to endeavor to, to not do that. Alright, if I put this down, I'll be able to get more order champions from here. Uh. 
And let's move on. Oh, we only did... Oh, right, you already had seven die, right. Uh, yeah, move down this way here. Cool. Is Wolfer going his mammoth yet? No, next level up. Okay, moving on. So if you already answered this, but do you think, uh, what do you think of the new experience skill points for lords and heroes, allowing them to share experience? I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't think it's a big deal, but I think it was a good deal. What that does is allow you in the late campaign to get your new lords leveled up very quickly. Is subjugation when you take a faction, last settlement, or defeat last army? Last settlement. But not for Norska, that's for Warriors of Chaos. Does Norska still have the true ever chosen event that gives like 75% upkeep or whatever? I don't know. I haven't gotten to that point in a Norska campaign. Yeah. I very, I very rarely get beyond turn like 50 or 60 in any of my campaigns before starting a new one. I, I'm just finding in Wormer 3, I'm just not finishing campaigns. A lot. <laughs> People are commenting on it a fair bit. But I just get, I get bored. I get bored. Good, I was at war with them, so that pulls me out of it. Overrun the war. Alright. Make the bear for you. Alright, we should be strong enough to beat them. Just make our way over Roll there in this stance here, that way we're still getting replenishment. Trespassing on their territory should make Archeon happy. Good, and I probably should have recruited... Yeah, just get some of that. Because there's going to be bears, probably. Alright, let's have a little talk to Archeon and see how much he likes the fact that I trespassed. Yeah, not that much. Still, if we offer to join war against them... Yeah, yeah, we can get that. Alright. Just wait until we're ready to actually launch the attack. Would you ever try a migration or a randomized start campaign? Mmm, don't know. I don't know, probably... We'll see, we'll see. Right, yeah, you need to stay over here. Stay in raid stance. Um... What are they doing? Are they gonna go to Bellicor or something? Some more turns left on that. Well, I'm fine with that. Honestly, don't care if Bellicor gets destroyed. I just don't want him declaring war on me because he could be a bit of a pain. Alright, just um... I don't think we got a large, large enough army to fight that, but... Yeah, bit of money. Thank you. Good. 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 Demon. Dipra. Art. What you want? I tell you what, though, this campaign here is so much easier than Kairos's. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, one way you can tell whether or not a campaign is actually relatively easy is whether or not I'm burning through turns quickly. Um, like, if I'm spending about an hour on each turn, you know that campaign is pretty tough. Like, I'm fighting all the battles manually, 
because I gotta squeeze every bit of efficiency out of it. If you see me auto-resolving a lot, you know that I just don't feel like we're under much pressure. Alright, I need to take that settlement. It's good that Archeon um, went and blew it up. Why don't I just finish Archeon? Uh, because we should attack enemies that are more unfriendly towards us over ones that are friendly. Archeon is currently being relatively friendly for us. So leave him alone and let's go focus on the people who are unfriendly. We can always turn back around and deal with Archeon later. So having a friend over here on our border will allow us to just secure our frontier. Because we're currently trading with him, right? So by trading with Archeon, we can then trade with his vassals. And then just sweep across over to Valkyria, maybe. Because the thing is, if you try to attack everyone always at all times. Don't anger me. Cancel when it, cancel it, cancel it. Nice. <laughs> I didn't want it anymore. Um, you'll, you'll end up really stifling your expansion. You're better off in the early stages of the campaign when your armies are weak and you don't have the resources, focusing in one direction. Legend reminder, you need to stop research during battle for students. Yeah, I know, I just don't care. I just don't care. That cheese is just too tiresome. It's going to be bothered. Alright, who's the most damaged? Alright, due to the new changes with uh, Ruin Dwelling, this won't cost us any troops. Now, what does Salt give us? Oh, I thought it was better than that. That's crap. Oh well. Despoil and ravage. The eye of Syrian has already told me your offer, but I will hear it from your lips all the same. All right, I'll do both for a non-aggression pack and a little bit of money. Because if we look at this, I return. Thing is, I don't want them just running over here. That's why I'm waiting for the right moment before we do it. On the ground. I will hear you. I am. Your will. What? You. Would be good to get trade agreements with all of his vassals. We don't need to confederate them. It's not that important right now. All right, keep making our way down here. Let's switch it to regular raids. No, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, switch back to that. Marauders all, chieftain of the tribe. Pick up some more of this. This guy will just have to catch up. Actually, no. Just come over here. Go into raid stance. Saves us money. I find your motives unclear. Which? Does ruin dwelling not take troops now for all factions? Yeah. So what happens is when you ruin dwell a settlement, they just get tired for one turn. It's kind of like being caught in raid stance. So it's not really a big deal anymore. Slaughter the sheep. You know, gone are the days where you can use ruined dwelling to completely fuck up an enemy's army and then go in and attack them. So, um, I don't think it's a great change, but I also don't really care that much. Okay, Welcome. now that that non-aggression pact is over, in the shadows. this is good, this is good. Alright, who would you like me to go to war with? Marienburg? Come on, give me some treaties, give me some treaties, let's see here. Um, how about you go to war with some of my enemies? Do you want to do any of these? No. Alright, if I join war against Laura Lorne, what will you ask? no. Caron? No. Alright, just wait a little bit longer. We, we might get that. Uh, hang on, how much? Call me the dark like money? No, can't do that either. Wanna be friends with him? Let's be friends. Alright, what else next? Yeah, just go with growth and money or whatever.
What? What's the cooldown for Karas change settlements? Fuck, I declared war and took my settlements the turn we met. <laughs> uh, deep, uh, the base is 10 turns, but it can be as quick as 7. Yeah. Yeah. Ka uh, Kairos is the most annoying enemy to go up against in Warhammer 3, for sure. Every 7 turns. Hold faction, hold faction. It's always you. Do you ever reach a point where crap stacks don't work? Mm, it can happen. Yeah, smash him. Smash Archeon. He'll be more willing to have a non-aggression pact if you smash him. Smash him. Do it. Smash him. Yeah, Boris. Smash him. Now Archeon might turn around and fuck him up. Now that Archeon suffered a defeat to Boris, he'll be far more willing to, um, to have treaties with me. What do you think about trying a new Nagash campaign in Warhammer 2? Mm. No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm not opposed to going back to Warhammer 2 every now and again, but we already did a Nagash campaign, and I, I did it for like a week. And it was good, I enjoyed it, but I don't think I'm gonna start something new. A new one. Yeah, Archeon, good job. And now, we need to rush over here before he gets there. <laughs> we re we reap the benefits of his hard work. Is this the first stream of this campaign? No, this is episode 25. Sorry, I can't help but troll. Yeah, it's the first episode. Well, ain't that some bullshit. This is Total Wars, Belagar when? Hmm, I think, I think people have been asking for this is Total War or Orion. Um. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do this is Total War Belagar. Vampire's got a part 25. In fact, I don't think we've ever done a, le a live stream uh, campaign that's 25 episodes. I think it, I think 16 was like the highest we've ever gone. All right, now, Archeon, are you ready to? Yeah, he is ready to play ball here. Good. Good, being friendly. Now he likes his. Let me look here. Right, according to this, he can't reach there next turn. It's, it shows that he can, but he's in Force March. He's not going to make it. Yes. Bow before he who wields the Slayer of Kings. Okay. Yes. Bow before he who wields... Okay. Alright, so uh, this one over here is on Force March. We just got this dude straight up. You. Relation Let's with this one here quiet. is improving. That's good. Be pretty funny if we can like trade settlements with um with his vassals and like steal them Overrun off. The world. Move on then. Oh. Hey, we haven't fought a battle in a while. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer like these sort of like order resolve campaigns? Where I just like auto resolve, but actually get through the campaign at a reasonable pace, or do you prefer, like, me fighting every goddamn battle manually because I absolutely have to? 
Yes. Enslave the southerners. It is done. All right, so we hit the Tower of Torment, and then all of this should be fine. Uh, well, it depends on what this one does. If oh, it yeah. lands over here, we'll go after it. And then we... Enslave the southerners. We head over to these guys over here and attack them before they attack us. Like, I know you don't want me to fight battles manually if it's like a boring battle. But yeah, some of these, these battles out here. I, do, I got, just got plenty of force. Alright, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Let's grab... keep that money coming up. The more money we've got, the better. More troops we can get. Yep, do that one. Good, we can get some more shaman sorcerer thingies. Alright, we just finished Scavengers of the New World. I wanted to get with Vampire Coast. Because it will provide us with casualty replenishment rate, which is nice. Because we're not anywhere close to getting to a point where we can um, capture any major racial capital at this stage. We're not even close. I'm listening. Okay. You know what we could do? We could blow up the settlement with one army and then ruin Dweller with the other. No It'll cost us escape. money to do that, but I think we're okay. No, don't do it with uh, tier two, uh, tier three settlements. Do it with something that's like low tier. We'll see what happens when we go over fight the um, demon prince. All right, this guy just stays over here. Just keep an eye on this stuff. How's he doing? Why are you so yeah. Okay, things are improving with him. He's forgetting that uh, winter so tooth ever existed, so that's good. You just stay there in that stance, reducing upkeep cost. Moves over here. Reckless point would be valuable. Same with the thing with Dieter's half and bird. It would also cause people to declare war on me. Do not waste my time with petty talk. I'm not ready to invade the old world just yet. I need to keep building things up over here. Although I guess I do have some money. Ah, we'll see. We'll be fine. Just give me a Sometimes I really like to see you curb stomp on an enemy. That auto resolve has vastly underestimated. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that happens. Yeah. I love watching battles. They're the heart of the game, and I suck at it. Good learning there. Yeah, but I don't think there's any point fighting a battle manually if we if it's like a it's just such a ridiculously easy battle, and I just don't need to. We should save it for actual tough battles. Now, the thing is in this campaign here is that I've grown stronger, faster than the enemy, and so we're not encountering enemies that have caught up to us yet, but we will eventually, especially if I don't upgrade my units or don't recruit new armies. So this is what I kind of do in my campaigns. I recruit what I need and then keep going with what I've got until I need more troops. Um, Master Blaster 69 became men for 16 months. I think Wormer 3 doesn't have a good pacing that Wormer 2 had. It's so hard to say more or less battles. It just doesn't feel quite there yet. Something is kind of off. I 100% agree with you. The pacing is off, for sure. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah, land over here. See, you get these arrows, but then they do the opposite of what they say they're going to do. Excuse me. How can you tell enemies' army size based on military presence? It's real simple. You look at the military presence, whatever it says, divide it by the number of regions, and then that's how many 
sorry, multiply by the number of regions they have. So, for example, if they have a military presence of five, and there are four regions in the province, then there is 20 units sitting in a settlement. Cool. Tribesmen. No higher power than I. See the faction leader? I should destroy yeah. you for your time. I'm worried that they might um, swing around over to here. What? One come on. It is treason to come on. Right, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. The I am going to have Sertha Ek. Weekly. Take the settlement. But I'm gonna have Wolfric go and land out in the water. Give them the opportunity to attack us. A certainty. Marauding. Where's my next quarry? Heading out. In agreement. Now that you played a good amount of Kairos, do you think Winds of Magic Captain Warmer 3 is that actually an issue? Yes, I still think it's an issue. Alright, that is the end of Boros. Easy, easy war. Alright, we're a little bit damaged. This is a bit of a risk, but I want to oh, give yeah. this guy the chance to attack us. Or at the very least... Fuck off. No higher power than I. Alright, I'm even going to force march to here. Really give him a chance to, to get us. Okay? Because I don't want him sailing around this way. Tribesmen, gather! Oh, I can pick up some Rorder Berserkers. Chieftain of the tribe. Yeah, we'll see if he if he goes after us or whether he backs off. Um, Clan Ferric is just being sort of silly. Don't worry about them too much. Okay, okay, okay. What's next? Yep, you just stay there. Just keep an eye on the border here because he could declare war on us at any time. And let me see here. okay, good. He's starting to like us more. This is what we want to see. Be nice and friendly. If I offer to join war against the Black Pit tribe, he doesn't care that much. Okay, that's fine. Kairos is a magic-focused faction. You never seem to run low due to the cap. Okay. I don't I don't really want to argue about this. I'm, I'm not playing Kairos anymore. Look, if you, if you don't think that it's a problem, that's cool. But I think that the... I, I don't necessarily agree. Yes. Iron's good, more marauders for cheaper. Cool. Alright, if that guy attacks us, we'll probably have to fight it manually. He does have a bear. Uh, and some armored cossars, mostly missile-based army, so... We'd have to charge at him. That's but here's right. the thing. It says we'll be tired, but that's wrong because it's based off an old build. Um, and we should be at, we should be fresh if they decide to attack us, which they might not because we're rank 18 and he's rank he's 11. I just me. don't know. But whatever the case is, if he swings oh, yeah. around over here, I'll be able to nope. get him. So his course of action now should be to either attack us or go away. That's what I want him to do. Okay. Throg should come outside the settlement and go into raid stance. Nope, just uh, just stand there because otherwise he's going to get lazy. I could send Throg to go and attack Wrecker's Point. Yeah, I might do that actually. No, I'm out of money.
Who's going to be the hardest matchup for Marauders on the march? Uh, usually artillery. If you were doing a Ryan Total War game, would you ever make a deer doom stack with him? Would be kind of fun seeing those fat charges with fast deer boys. Yeah, yeah, I'd be down to try that. Yeah. I mean, if getting free upkeep, might as well. But it'd be terrible in sieges, so you'd have to avoid that. It'd be really terrible in... Well, not necessarily. If they're fast enough, they could probably manage. I was just injured. My bad to bring up sore subject. No, sorry, dude. It's not a sore subject. It's just that everything is a fucking sore subject these days. I can't discuss anything without people taking what I say, posting it on a forum, and then having people be like, Ah, how dare he have an opinion? And so, I kind of just don't want to have any opinions anymore. I'm just exhausted. You know? I, I, I personally don't mind having these conversations. What I'm sick of is getting attacked for my opinions. That's what I'm sick of. I just I just don't want to express myself anymore. I don't think I've ever had a year where I've been so heavily attacked for just having opinions than this year. Alright, order resolved, not acceptable. Finally a battle. Here we go. Sorry, we're in this limelight. I clearly said. Yeah, it's all good, dude. Like, if you want to have a chat on, like, Discord, uh, I'd be more willing. But, yeah, I'd, I'd prefer just keep my opinions private now. I just don't want to get involved in any more shit. Um, still don't really understand how charge bonus works. Is it just while they're running it applies? Okay, so you get the charge bonus for 10 seconds after you start charging. I think that's how it works. That's so sad. Why is it happening? Um, it's, a, it's a combination of things. I don't really blame the community too much, but it is going on. The community is just tearing itself apart ever since Warhammer 3 came out because people are just not... There's, there's loads of different reasons for it, you know. Yeah. People feel personally attacked these days because you don't share their opinion. Um, people are just overly sensitive. People are just... There's loads of different reasons. You'd have to ask them. Oh man, I can get right up in his face. Um, probably still shouldn't. Alright, we're going to just charge straight at them. I'm just, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go sh straight wide with them. I'm just really tired of being the committee punching bag. Really, really tired of it. So I just, I'm just not going to discuss these things anymore. Really, really tired of it. Time for sorcery. Yes. Uh, Romain Berger did a ten-year super chat. Whatever opinions I have. You have overcast coming winds on this channel, plus 18 positivity. Okay, thanks, dude. Yeah, look, look, it's fine. I'm fine. It's not a problem. I just, I don't want to talk about the stuff anymore. It's just bringing me too much pain. I just, you know, people ask for my opinions, I give my opinions, and then I get fucking attacked for having an opinion. I just don't, I'm not going to do it anymore. I just want to play the game. You know, if you like the game, great. If you don't like the game, great. Just, let's just play the game. Or don't, whichever. Uh, that was okay for a cast. Yeah, look, we're not we're not exhausted. They're focusing on Wolfric. Oh, and the wizard. I think that's a backfire too much. Oh yeah, they are trying to kill my wizard. Move, 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 move. Oh, they're really trying to kill my wizard. Wolf of Kuriko. I'll be there. Yeah, I appreciate it. The chats, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. 
I, I'm not talking about the chat. Look, this is what ends up happening. I, I express an opinion, and then somebody posts it on a forum, and then I get bombarded with fucking messages. It's just not worth it anymore. You guys are going to end up with a community of public figures that are so deathly afraid of speaking their mind that you are going to have just nothing but spineless weasels for creators. And it's going to be all your own fault. I need to take it too much damage, just move back. What to do? But yeah, I prefer it if we just moved on from it. I, I just don't want to talk about these sort of topics anymore. Let's just move on. Just focus on the game, not focus on whatever's going on in the community. Because like, like I said, if you like the game, great. If you don't like the game, great. Just leave me out of it from now on. I don't want to get involved anymore. I give up. Isn't it a weakness that Wolf got a mammoth? He's so easy to shoot, must be easy to focus for the AI. Yeah, he is, but at the same time, we've got him with 25% physical resistance. He, he's just got a lot of resistances, so... And he's got a lot of health, so if even if they do shoot at him, it's not that big of a deal, unless they're using magic missiles. So if they've got um, Ice Guard, then it's fine. But outside of that, I don't think it's a big deal. Is Norska richer than Warriors of Chaos? Mm. I'd say they're about on par with each other. They're both pretty rich. I'd say they're on par. Yeah, if you can kill him, that'd be great. Scarbrand or Valkyr? Oh, definitely Scarbrand. Valkyr is okay, but Scarbrand is like... So much more powerful than her. She's a good fighter, but Scarbrand as a faction and as a legendary lord, it's just, it is just better. I don't think we're gonna catch him. I don't have anything to slow him down. Should have used this. But we didn't take that much damage, so it's all good. Yeah, we're not gonna catch him. Opinions on ice worms, they surprise me. As not totally awful. They're alright, they're alright. Um, they're essentially ice dragons, and their breath attack sucks. The main purpose of them, I think, is to slow down the enemy so that your other forces can catch them. Uh, but as far as dragons are concerned, they're probably one of the weaker dragons. Who's your second favorite faction so far, then? Second favorite? I don't know, man. Alright, cool. Bit of damage. Still have to take him out. But I think I made the right move there because there's no way... What are you doing? What, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, you dumbass? Okay, whatever. He's, he's just putting himself in front of the rest of my forces here. You ever had Boris come back after his faction destroyed? I destroyed him as Archeon, but he came back 30 turns later. Yes, I've actually revived Boris before as the Ice Court. He's revived at a different region than what he starts at. He's revived at Novotchazi. Novotchazi or something.
Okay, we got a bit of a red alert. No need for Fs in the chat. But yeah, the... Uh, we're just having a bit of turbulence. It's not going to last long. It's starting to correct itself. Yeah, we're in the red. We're in the red. Just give it a second. Okay, we're back in the green. Just, it only ever takes a minute or so. Sucks when it happens, but uh, it's just a bit of turbulence. At least it didn't cut off the stream. Remember when a few weeks back it was happening like every single day? That was so frustrating. That did so much damage to the channel. So much freaking damage. But you know, it's outside of my control. Alright. So let's get him over to the Port of Secrets. And these two will just have to catch up. Enslave the Southerners. An affront to the gods. Over the oh, okay, he's a chariot now. That's good. To the slaughter. Speak oh, we got red alert again. And it's gone. Okay, we're good. Just a bit of turbulence, no big deal. Alright, everything's fine here? Yeah, there we go. What's Scarbrand's faction mechanic? Bloodhost? Yeah, Bloodhost. Bloodhost is a very powerful mechanic. Arguably one of the most powerful mechanics in the game. But also being able to um, uh, win battles and then continue moving makes him kind of like a... Uh... What? I hear you. Yeah, I think we're better off going out on in the water the if we want to get over here quickly. Yes, Lord. The crow. Did I just get like double movement? Accept it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Do you know the console command to have to have all your seems to be information? Uh being a locked control group. It's not a console command. <laughs> So yeah, we'll head over to the Port of Secrets. Um, Sertha X is going to be lagging behind a little bit, but that's okay. And we're going to go fight Matt Demon Prince. Slaughter the sheep. Okay, focus a bit more on the economy first. Do you know another benefit of Warhammer 3 over Warhammer 2 for Norska is that these settlements here actually have uh, eight regions, whereas in Warhammer 2 it was just six. It made it very difficult to max out their provinces. Now it's no problem. Two extra build slots makes a big difference. All the stuff here is good. Alright, we don't really need that anymore because we're not going to be recruiting here. So now, having, um, having left Archeon here... To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Uh, maybe I should give him the monolith to fester along. No, he doesn't want it. My fellow warlords converge. Yeah, we should be fine covenant. to just leave this uh, alone. Let me have a look in quick deal. What have we got? Legion of Chaos? No, want to fight them. Right. I don't have any agreements that can do that. Cool. Abroad is all. Cool. So yeah, we'll go fight that demon prince. Cool. 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 All right, got to level up over here. Yes. See fangs ready. All right, spawn of chaos is not really needed. So blue line's done for now. What else do we need? Yep, that'd be good.
There's currently an exploit with dismounting freshly recruited lords that have a mount. Hmm, okay. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Perhaps we won't. Don't anger me. When I'm angry, I make challenges. <laughs> He's like, please don't attack me. <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna. Uh, Shield Stick did a 125 super chat. Um, hey, Legend, I know you were bummed by last Manfred stream, but with the new patch, will you give Vampire Counts a chance again? Uh, I just didn't have fun playing Vampire Counts. I just didn't enjoy it. They, it's not difficult or anything. Um, I just didn't have fun. So I don't know. I'm just, I just don't really want to play vampire accounts anymore. Not saying they're shit or weak. It's just that I don't really like their playstyle. YouTube has been suggesting that stream many for me so much. Yeah, weird thing happened with that one. Like, I thought that was a terrible stream. Because uh, I really was not happy during it. But YouTube is just pushing it now. And I don't know why. Let me just have a quick look at that. I don't know why it's pushing that stream so much. I, I've had this stuff happen before uh, with with some streams. But usually they're actually good streams at CA. Uh, well, CA. Um... Yeah, look at that. It's at 100,000 views. Oh, the like to dislike ratio is terrible. Um, let me have a look at the analytics real quick on it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the, the thing is pushing it. I really don't know. I thought that was a terrible stream. Okay, so the average view duration is 46 minutes. That's actually absurdly high. Alright. Hmm. I really just don't want to play vampire accounts anymore, though. Can we see the stats? No. <laughs> Sorry, no. Chieftain of the tribe. Executing. What's the dis what's the like to dislike ratio? It was uh, ninety six point six dislikes to likes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ninety six percent likes to dislikes, which is very bad for me, typically speaking. Uh, the typical stream will usually have about ninety eight point five percent like to dislike ratio. So, for example, the current like to dislike ratio in this live stream is. I'm just gonna have a quick look because yeah, it doesn't show you dislikes anymore is currently 99%. But typically speaking, I tend to get more likes during the stream, and then as VODs, tend to get more dislikes. So, that's typically what happens. Uh, probably because people come on and, like, um, like, ah, he reads the chat too much, or something like that. That's Let's fine. Fight. A certainty. Moving out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Have a terrible stream. Yeah, well, you know, I have good streams and bad streams. It's been a bit hit and miss lately because, um, like, just just being perfectly honest, I'm not in a good state. <laughs> you know, I, sometimes I come on and everything's fine, but sometimes I come on and I'm just like, I'm just not happy. So it's just, it's just, uh, it's hit and miss. And that was just one of those streams where I was just in a bad mood. It's just gonna happen. I do the best I can. I think I think to try my best to maintain mood is to stay away from these fucking topics. You know, they just bring me down. It's been it's been pretty good lately. It's been pretty good lately. Ever since we did the purge, it's been pretty good. But you know, after um after getting 
but he ripped to shreds again on the Steam forums. Um, yeah, that wasn't fun. But, you know, that happens as part of being an online personality. It's it's a shit part of it, but, you know, it's it's a part of it. Do you think the fact that YouTube removes a dislike count improves your channel viewership? Nope. Didn't make a fucking bit of difference. And I hate that they did that. I don't know, I feel like the you reading the chat more as a streamer is very endearing to me. Yeah, here's here's the thing. Um, people who watch the stream live like the fact that I'm reading the chat. Because that's what you're here for, right? Most people anyway. Um, but the people who are watching VODs, it's it's just a like a let's play for them, and so they don't want to hear it. So typically speaking, obviously some people like it. Um Yeah, it just, it just varies. Everybody wants something different. Which makes it very difficult to please everyone. It's actually impossible. I just use Chrome extension to bring back dislikes. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I don't, I don't really care about people leaving dislikes, as long as people are honest. Because... I use the like to dislike ratio to try to alter my behavior wherever needed. So if I'm like, if I do a stream and it gets a high dislike ratio, or a video that gets a high dislike ratio, I'm like, okay, what did I do wrong there? And I try to modify it. So I, I welcome dislikes, it's fine. Just, just be honest, that's all I ask. Nice. You did lose an army, but at least you took that one out. I don't never dislike kind of just like saying oh that's fine I don't, I don't care one way or another all right now it's time to declare war on this one here we'll talk to Flanish, them they're more likely to give us money my yeah okay war with the demon prince demon demon idiot I think we've chosen a good time to attack him I think he's Oh no! <laughs> we got a bug. Happened again. This happened yesterday. I'm listening. This is folly. All right, I gotta to save the game here. Exit the game and get back into it. It'll only take a minute, but I need to see where the um the zone of control stuff is. So this this only takes a minute. Just getting back into the game. Easy fix, but yeah, I just gotta be done. Can you get catapults from the Skaven at the moment? Probably not. I doubt they've... I didn't even look into it. Um, I didn't f I didn't think that I was going to maintain vassalage with them for very long. I thought they were going to get wrecked or they'd betray me. So It's actually been a pretty good deal so far, but... I don't really want catapults, and also in a campaign called Marauder Only, we can't do that. What is the bug? The movement range doesn't show. Yeah, the movement range doesn't show. It's it's really easy bug to fix. You just get out of the game and get back into it, and it fixes it. It happens every now and again. I don't know what causes it. It'll change after the battle. Only if I fight the battle manually, which I'm not going to be doing. Because <laughs> it's a, a garrison battle. So many bugs I need fixing. This this bug is not should not be a high priority. This is a nothing bug. Um... Yeah, there are there are 
like bigger bugs to worry about. This is a nothing one. This do this doesn't even concern me. This is a minor inconvenience. Chieftain of the tribe. Not a big deal at all. Alright, bring him in. Bring him in. Good, he's caught up. The crow directs me. Alright, we'll need someone to go and occupy Volcano's Heart, so just Where's recruit a new lord to sort that out. Slaughter just because I don't want to send anyone over that way. The next stop is Forest of Decay, which... Yeah, we should this is folly. just go that way. Forest of Decay, Billy's Cliff, yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. And uh, I'm surprised that... He Azazel didn't declare war on me. I'm actually quite surprised I haven't had that many war declarations ever since, like, Throg and the Scalings decided to screw me. I guess after they saw what happened over here, the AI's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> we can't beat him. We'll just wait until he's here, and then we'll just deal with it then. Alright, Wolfric doesn't really need regeneration that much, so put him in here for raid. Raid stance to save... A lot of money, so that a thousand gold. All right, cool. And yeah, we still got so much construction that we should be doing. This is why I'm not recruiting new armies, because the Norsegun economy gets huge dividends. And if we're not under any serious pressure, then why bother raising new armies? But once we get to a point where we've built all the things that we need to build, and we're starting to save up a good amount of treasury, that's a good time to build another army. Or if it's an emergency, which it isn't. Now, bloodthirsty. Okay, good. We can now trade with Always Archaeon's vassals, which will sense. allow us... Oh, that'd be interesting if I could steal one of Archaeon's factions. Uh, which will Enter allow us then. better friendship with Archaeon as well. Because if we have a look at that... I concur. Treaties with the Kull and Tong improves his relationship as well. Greetings. Your abasement pleases me. It does seem like this is the end of the road for them, so I'll do that, which will make him happier with us. Because we're trying to get like a defensive alliance with him or something. Just we can always just betray him later down the track. Yep, that guy there. Just stick around. How you going? Wish to be crowned as the ever chosen two. Rackland. and Marienburg. and Lorlorn. That's a lot of wars to have to. Well, Marienburg's nearly beaten. With relations, this is to, no, no. Look, I'm gonna have loads of money, so I'll just give him like a big gift. I'm not looking to come down here just yet. Maybe later, but not right now. Go cool, and let's move on. I thought you don't lose troops anymore when you settle. That's right. The, the reason why I'm recruiting a lord there is not so that I save troops, but to save movement. Because I need all three of my armies to, to move towards the Forest of Decay. And if it costs 2,500 as opposed to 1,000, that's not that big of a deal. I just don't want my army standing behind it. Because we, we haven't defeated these guys properly yet. I'd usually negotiate with my... This is where I go, what the fuck? Friendly, end of the non-aggression pact, two out of three same enemies. The only thing I can think of here is that 
He's canceling non-aggression pact with us because of the ecstatic legions. That's the only thing I could think of. Can you you can vassal Chaos Warriors as Norsko? Yep. Time for ten percent more health. No, I think we've still got other treaties with him. Hmm. That's a lot of troops. Met the voice actor, if I recall, seems pretty cool. Oh, well, online met. Um, didn't meet him in person. Yeah, um, voice snacks. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool dude. Slaughter the right. Journeying. So, yeah, if I sent one of my other armies, then it just would have um, consumed our movement, which I didn't want to do. Champions fall. Northmen come. Understood. It's under siege. I am the wanderer. I will put them. Mm. There's a decent chance he'll lift the siege, I think. To the four corners. Heading out. It's Hag Grief. Enslaved. <laughs> right, he's defeated Hag Grief. Yeah, he's gonna lift that siege. Right. That's good. True savages. Maybe I should keep this one down here just in case an army comes this way. Okay. Sent by the serpent. This way. Yeah, he we'll see, we'll see. Okay, that looks good to me. Uh Marcus Ericsson did a 20 SEK super chat. Hey Legend, how's the stream? Is chat behaving? Yep, um, chat's behaving, for sure. Uh, ever since we did the purge, chat's been very good. Yeah, I've been pretty happy with my community lately. Which has been nice. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, yeah, we, we got rid of most of the uh, trolls. So, yeah, Throt, what the fuck? Right, he considers me the main threat, that's why. Make many, mm. many strange, strong things. Hmm. Well, I've still got some treaties with him, but they'll probably eventually expire. God doesn't care. Either that or the ice court will smash him, so... We'll see how that goes. Alright, all that's fine. All that's fine. Good money coming in, but still got loads of construction to to do, so I'm not in any rush to raise another army. We are, you know, pretty good for strength ranking. Anyone that we know that's stronger than us? Nope. Probably Nagaron, who we haven't met. And let's move on. Your campaign has had better luck than me. Everyone just declares we're on me as soon as we meet. Yeah, I think the reason that hasn't isn't happening in this campaign is because oh, oh okay is because I have maintained a lot of military presence straight away and I've made some decent diplomatic deals with people that at least can have it. Yeah, I'll declare war on them. So When it comes to enemy AI declaring war on you, if you can, in the very early stages of the campaign, make a couple of friends, that can make a big difference. So, in my previous campaigns, oftentimes Bellacor declares war on me, but I managed to just do what he wanted me to do, and it, um, it helped a great deal for maintaining 
relations. Yeah, diplomacy in Warhammer 3 is definitely wonky, but if you can manage to make a few friends, it does make a big difference. Um, I've oftentimes been like playing as auto tired faction, it's been strength ranking one and having tons of allies. And even though everyone considers me their main threat, they just outright refuse to declare war on me because they get dragged into so many wars, and it's super easy at that point. Overrun the world to the slaughter. So yeah, glad I brought that guy around over here. A crude attempt to subjugate. Norska! I submit! The hound compels! Only Narcos! Dreadlord. Huh. Looks like their lord died the over the eternal end time. Challenger. They can't. Ah, uh, shit. I don't want to declare war on Nagaron. Let us not allow haste or uh, rage to dictate business. Oh well, what are you going to do? I don't think he's going to send any armies at us. I'd like to get the jump on him. More scouts. Who would you suggest as early friends as for Wolfric? Uh, oh shit, we have to fight manually. It looks. Uh, early friends for Wolfric. Early friends for Wolfric. Um, I'll rip out guts. probably Bellicor would be the best one if you can manage that. Bring death. Yeah, I, I don't mind fighting a battle manually, but I really don't want it to be a siege battle. <laughs> so, I wanted to get that one, but maybe... Maybe I'll just have to let it slide. Alright, that's the end of Malice. Northman come. All the way. The hound compels. Come on, auto resolve, auto resolve. I don't want to fight a fucking hour-long siege. Shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I can cheese this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can cheese it. I think we can get our reinforcements to come in through here, cap that point early on in the battle. I think I think that can happen. Easy difficulty? Yeah, you could do that, and that would probably give us an order resolve win, but that would also be essentially cheating. <laughs> he says as he tries to cheese this battle. Put the wizard with the reinforcements. Nah. Nah, that's fine. Do the mortuary cult changes make the Libaris better? It makes all the Tomb Kings better. Yeah, I really like what they did with the mortuary cult stuff. That's the kind of stuff that they should be doing. Okay? Yeah, you won't see me say... You won't see anyone take what I'm about to say and post it on the friggin' Reddit or Steam forums. But what they've done with the... With the uh, mortuary cult is exactly what creative assembly should be doing in this game they should be adding things to it not removing things so i 100 percent applaud what they did with the uh, mortuary cult changes because that is the kind of changes we need to be seeing very good 
Very, very good. A plus for that. That's something that the community has requested for ages. Alright, let's see if this will even work. Come on. Give daddy his sugar. No! Come on! Th there might be another way. Give daddy your sugar. Come on. No. No, it's not gonna... Oh, god damn it. Can't cheese it. Well, we gave it a look. We gave it a look. Alright, let's see. How are we gonna do this? Hmm. Alright, I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah. Now is our time. All right. We come in from over here. You go over there. I think they made it so that in these siege battles you can't actually change the reinforcement location. Okay, there we go. That's fine. All right. What we do here is lure as much of their forces over here. Okay, the towers aren't that big of a deal. Lure as much of their forces over here, and then attack through here when the reinforcements come in. Um, this one is going to take too long otherwise. Oh, god damn it, come on. Where, where did you come from? It was over here before. Where the hell is it? Right, uh, through here apparently. Fuck it, just leave it. Uh, what a pain in the ass. Okay. What do the gods desire? Mm. Yeah, I think we should just advance. The the towers are fairly low power. Fairly low. Patch that, I believe. They patched it in some settlements. There, are, It still works in some settlement types. Alright, let's have a look. Hopefully it's just basic towers. amounts of damage. We the gods. Trying to fight them up on the walls. We'll get annihilated up there. We want to go through the gate. We've been taking a bit of damage, but I'm sure he'll be okay. Because their infantry is going to take a lot more. Alright, if we're going to climb up the wall... You know what, those towers are really not doing that much damage. Alright, have they got area of effect spells? No. No, nothing to be too concerned about there. Okay, that's good. Alright, just shove all of our guys through. Alright, reinforcements have arrived, and just as I wanted, there's. Hit restrict camera. There's nobody over here. So, what they'll likely do now is start redirecting all their forces over here. These are. Yeah, they're the ones on Force March. 
these ones here are taking a fair bit of damage. Wolfric is also taking damage. Chaos Marauders! Taking too much damage there. Order the tribe. Quick. All right. A lot of cavalry here. I want to push them through over here. Deliver slaughter. Kill them. Yes, Lord. Ready to murder. Right, fair few units over here, but final transmutation will cost 18 wins of magic. Could also use transmutation of lead, although I still think that the spell here is the best for it. This one here is taking a lot of damage, but it's also dishing out a fair bit. Gotta get in, get rid of these goddamn towers shooting at me. The Dark Gods command me! Got more reinforcements coming soon. But these guys are dragging their heels here. Come on, dude, Ready get in there. Kill. Yes! Deaths are assured! Alright, I'm going to use the final transmutation because I've got a decent amount of wins. I just need to get through here a bit quicker. Alright, we're in. We're in. Uh, they've got units over there, but just get our guys in here. Okay, we broke through there. Wait, had he... Oh, sorry, sorry, he hasn't broken through yet. Start capping points. Shame on sorcerer. Yeah, I think I'll do another final transmutation. That seems to be working. Okay, Marauder Horsemen are in. Start capping other points. Get them to start running around. Send three over here. More reinforcements on the way. Turn that and go through this way. Kill them! Kill them! Okay, Wolfric's gotta get out of here. He's taking too much damage. Shit. Oh, I'm out of wins. Okay, then I'll just use. Yeah, let's use this again. Oh, he was fighting the seventh claw, and I wanted to get through that. Okay, we've broken through it here. Go, go, go. Whatever, just find a way in. Whatever you think is best. You, over here. Okay, Wolfric is safe. Nice. I've seen victory. Good. Okay, next spot over. Be our last spell. Oops! No! 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 Oh, too, too late. I'm just going to go through. Too late. Your will. Jeez, where are those other reinforcements? Oh, right. We've got too many units on the battlefield. That's why. Onwards. Into position. Uh, what are these? Cast one has a court. Yeah, you can take them out. They will succumb. 
Chaos Marauders! Quick! Faster! Quick! Charge them! Get them! Alright, this one here is taking too much damage. Let's pull him out. We don't want to lose our Marauder Berserkers. So guys, I need you to just push over to here. Getting rid of their cap. Chaos Marauders! Lamps to slaughter! Chaos Marauders! Yes, Lord! Ah! No! Very well! Faster! Faster! Smash him with a boat? Yes, that's a good idea. Wolfric the Wanderer! Thank you. Let's do that. Good idea. Shields up. They will succumb. Oh, what we're in a bit of trouble here. Get him out of there. Savages. Faster! Charge! Destroy! I guess the blood led us a little bit. Yes! Good, we're, we're breaking through here. Chaos Marauders! Recon it! Okay, With go for here, go for here. It's mostly clear. And the cavalry back around over this way as well, and these cav push through. Don't worry about those blood letters. Go cap this point. Chaos Marauders! So be it! Now! Command us! And then Marauders, of course, not a big deal. They should be able to handle that. Tremble, mortals! Press the enemy! Command us! Charge! They're anti-infantry, so their cavalry should be okay. Kill them all. And the other cavalry should be on its way. Quickly now! Let's see if that does anything. Yes, Lord. Where's the enemy? Chaos Marauders! Okay, time to push through here. Good. Try to get into there, get rid of that captain point. Just a little bit more to go. Wolfric the Wanderer. I think he actually deleted that uh, blue horror with just the, the spell cast. Okay, 
these two, go around, just go around. Let them bash through. You hang back a little bit. You two come in. Oh, they're already in. Kill the Saladas! What do the gods desire? For the Chaos Gods! Scouts for my armor! Just a few capping points left to go. Or we could just wait until that's finished. Commandos! So be it! Do you find lords on chariot mounts get stuck often? Yep. Yep, you gotta be careful. Units can get stuck um, a lot of the time. Unless they've got like massive amounts of mass, units just get stuck all the time in Worm 3. And in Worm 2 for that matter. Due to the way the collision system kind of works, they just, the units just get stuck. Okay, another one down. Let's make it over to here. You guys make it over to here. You two, though, go over to there, and I'll send these two heroes over there as well. So be it! Acknowledged. Chaos Marauders! What do the gods desire? Oh, but that one's already been captured. What was the other one? Consider it done. Oh, it was suspicious position this way. Yeah, it was right there. Um, send them to go and yes, recap this point. Chaos Marauders. Send death. Doesn't matter, army losses. Oh, not army losses, we capped it. Cool. Okay. They were probably fairly close to the army losses there. Yeah, so that Ek never even showed up. Oh, what do the medicinal herbs do for us? I know for uh, Kislev it increases replenishment rate, but for us, it gives us... Uh, it gives casualty replenishment rate, but that's not a global bonus. Um, still builds anyway. the world uh yes sir the egg needs his chariots world and wolfric why don't you pick up those marauder berserkers right uh, another time Good, and, yep. Alright, well, there's still this one over here. Um, it can't get to the Tower of Flies. Hmm. 
thing is, this one character here could do a lot of damage. Plus, they could chuck a Regiment of Renown in there. So what I'll need to do is pop down a Lord. You'll do. Ah, crap. Uh, just put some Spearmen down just to, just until this one here goes away. Chieftain of the tribe. All other yeah, we haven't destroyed all the armies. Alright, that is good. So the Ek. Yep, save money. Bring death. Good, and let's keep constructing stuff. Let's have a look. Good, got to tier 4 here. Nice. If I build 10 of these, I'll be able to globally recruit Marauder Berserkers in one turn, which is pretty good. Alright, saw that they moved some armies over here, but these guys here can't declare war on me. How are they going with um, Azazel? I already Things are actually improving with him. He might want. actually get a non-aggression pact with him soon. Do I offer to do an ice court? No. no. No, no, Okay, seems a little bit less likely he'll declare war on us now, so that's good. I eat my and let's move on. Are the Lizardmen any good now, Wormer 3? Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Alright, this guy here should be able to beat this one on his own. Who's stronger, Malekith or Gelt? Malekith, definitely. Do regular Marauder Champions do better than Marauder Berserkers in melee? It depends. You can boost Berserkers more than Marauder Champions. Champions will last longer in combat uh, because of their high armor and higher melee defense, but Berserkers will dish out damage um, at a much faster rate. I believe there's also a global bonus you can get through a resource that gives extra weapon strength or melee attack to Berserkers, so I believe it's possible for Berserkers to be better than, than champions, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Will Sertha beat Cetra in this campaign, or is that later? Ugh, it's too far away. It's just too far away. I believe, didn't Mercy the Mad... No, no, it was Okoi who did a Sertha Ek campaign where he went down and beat Cetra or something. Yeah, it's just too far away. And even then, the trait's kind of crappy. Felmeningerson should be able to beat this one. All the way. God, come on! Fucking hell! None but Slanesh may dominate me. Come on, jeez. Oh well, yeah, these things happen. These things happen. All right. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's send Wolfric by himself to Black Rock, where there is a fairly large force over there. Okay, if we're going to send him there by himself, we should switch over that Marauder Berserker. And I'll give Sertha Ek the Marauder Horseman. No, need them. Uh, just take some Marauders. Speak! Okay, and you should definitely go in in camp stance. While well, these guys here make their way down this way. Now it's possible that the army there will move over this way, or it'll attack 
Wolfric. We'll just have to wait and see. I doubt he's got teleport yet. Go. What would you change to, about Nurgle's faction to make them better while still keeping them theme of big, slow, and hard to kill? Thanks for the hours of content, you rock. Alright, thanks, dude. Um, I'd improve the uh, plagues. The plagues are a bit passive. I'd make the plagues a bit more interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, an, it's a good idea. I just think that there's more that they can do with it. Um, I just think it's a little bit... It's a little bit um, weak of a mechanic, very passive. Um, there's like pretty much just one clear choice to make your army stronger, and the rest just don't do that much. So yeah, if you make the plague stronger, or, or make make sort of more variety of effects from plague, um, rather than it just be like attrition or. Um, Given your guys a bit of a boost. Put in some added effects. Um, but I don't know what you'd have to do at this point. Um, I gotta go to the toilet, guys. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go to the loop. Okay, I'm back. So I see we lost about a hundred people. Well, that usually happens. All right, cool. Uh, let's continue. So, my challenge, undeniable. 
Uh, looks like we're done with this turn. <laughs> I probably should have pressed enter before I went. But... Oh man, I was bursting. Yeah, I try not to go to the toilet during streams, but you know, sometimes you gotta go, you gotta go. Alright, look at this. This this could be interesting. Valiant defeat. Okay. This could be interesting. Yeah, there's some tough enemies in here. We outnumber them by one unit, but we are damaged. What kind of spells has he got? There's nothing in here. Uh, there's Burning Rage. That's not that big of a deal. Yeah, there is a very real possibility we'll lose this. He doesn't have much physical resistance because of low winds. That's good. He's got some very fast units. How fast are you? 78. Hmm. Well, with no real ability to to do area of effect damage, I think a blob might work. The giant will be hard to kill. Yes, the giant will be hard to kill, but we could just ignore it. Yeah, because we lack anti-large in the army. But Wolfric has the Brass Cleaver, so if we stay in a blob, we'll improve their strength by a fair bit. We've got... I, I reckon Wolfric should be able to beat this dude in melee. Hmm. Alright, where should we go and stand? In here, maybe? Yeah, this looks like it. Okay, the thing that we have to worry about though is just low lead. Oh no, our leadership's okay. Yeah. Alright, we just have to hope our leadership holds. If they're too scary, then we'll just run right away, which will uh, lead to a defeat. But I think we need to stay close to the Brass Cleaver and try to slow down the pace of the battle as much as possible. This is where blobs are really handy. While this guy is here, try to harass as much as possible. Um, if they, yeah, if they blow up, we can pop down, uh, pop down the uh, searing dooms. Okay, Let's do the best I can. All right, move over to the. Uh, oh, yeah, we're okay. okay. There. Alright, let's try to get the Demon Prince over here early. He's got no ability to heal. Looks like he's a Corn Demon Prince. Just need to get some of their units over here early. You got this? Well, we'll see, we'll see. The, um, the Pink Horrors could be a problem. Just because of lots of ammo. We've got... Flesh hounds, of course. Okay, we gotta get moving over here. Try to lure them up this way. Oh yeah, we've also got this. Okay, we got chaos furies coming at us. I think what I'll do with them is just um just chase some units around. Oh, sorry, get some units to chase us around. No, 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 no. They're coming in with really fast units. Get move. Might get hit in the rear here if we're not careful. Come on, guys, move it. But yeah, taking out these fast units early can make a big difference. Come on, come on. Watch out with my Marauder Horseman. Okay, these guys here. Turn back around. Fuck this. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good.
Take my blade. Okay, watch out, Demon that Prince incoming. Yes. He's probably going to want a piece of Wolfric, so I try to get him in here. Okay, you guys need to shoot the Demon Prince, and you got to debuff him. Stay in there, Wolfric, stay in there. Alright, what are we going to do with this? Let's pop that down there. Alright, pink horrors are shooting at us. Okay, we've got Chaos Warhounds and Thorn coming in here. Yeah, that's okay. He can tank that. I'm going to try to dodge it as much as I can. Good. Not really taking that much damage. Save from the corn here. Look at this. Yeah, like I said, just ignore the friggin' giant. The oh, nice part. All will be despoiled. Shame and Don't have tons of magic, so we gotta be careful with what we cast. So we should use our most efficient magic. Okay, I need to be shooting Billy of Thundergruff. Shame and sorcerer. Into position. Destroy! Mortal fool! Kill the Savanas! He should be able to handle the Demon Prince now. This is available again. Good. Let's pop that down right there. Shame on sorcerer. As you said. Going now. Disembowed. Incantations ready. Agree. Positioning. You said it. Okay, Demon Prince is going down and down in there. Bit of damage, but I think we got this. Get and there we go. Yeah, there's the army losses. Yeah, make sure this one here gets wiped out. I've seen death. <laughs> Grill of me. No way he win that. Oh, really? No way he win that. Come on. Oh, he's got loads of health.
Oh jeez, they nearly kicked one off the map. Which would have um saved it. Ah, there they go. They just did it then. Oh wait, no, no, it's still fighting. Look at that, I actually won the battle against a bunch of demons with just marauders. Well, you know, we, we had some good abilities. Yeah, I didn't completely wipe them out. But they're in pretty bad shape now. Hey Legend, thanks for the stream. Wanted to ask, how did you come up with the challenge? It, it's not really the most creative thing ever. I just was like... I'll play Wolfric, but I will just get Marauders. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed a bit thematic. Why aren't you using Javelins? I'm not losing battles, so... Oh, no, ja javelins are okay in a later stage of the campaign when you're going up against a lot of large units. But I'm quite happy with regular Marauders. Due to the way that Wolfric is, um... Yeah, regular Marauders are fine. Shouldn't winning a Valiant defeat turning, turn into a heroic victory? No, it's gotta be... It's gotta be, it's gotta be a little bit more outpowered than what we were. That was, that was fairly close. Good! That's what we wanna see. Take more territory. Are uh, the Warmer 2 tier list fully applicable in Warmer 3? I watched the Empire's 1. Are double-handed swords still trash? Of the trash? Um, no. So the tier lists of Warhammer 2 do not fully apply to Warhammer 3. I will have to redo them at a later date. I'm not going to do them just yet. But yeah, at a later date I'll have to redo them. Mm. Ooh, diplomatic relations with Kislev. So useful there. Good. And because we were in this stance here, we got loads of replenishment. Which is very nice. The eternal challenger. This guy's now immortal. Actually, that seems like a better idea. Oh, this guy's got the brass cleaver. Right. Oh, I thought... Um, I forgot. If, uh, I switched it. Uh, Talisman of Preservation. When did I get that? Actually, might be better. Okay, that's fine. All right, and then we want to head towards Black Rock. Yeah. I'll see it. That's the size of at least close victory, not Pyrrhic. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the amount of experience you get now. The type of victory that you get doesn't make any gameplay changes. Yeah, any gameplay differences. Alright, well, there's 17 units in there because um, he has built defenses. Chieftain of the tribe. Despoil and ravage. Overrun the world. I'm put you in. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Chieftain of the tribe. 
Okay. Tribesmen, gather! All the way. Actually, one of these guys might be able to make it to Yeah, yeah, they can make it to Black Rock. Okay, so you in agreement. Do this probably on your own. It's only five set uh, five units. Hey Nifty, how's it going? How's the campaign going? Yep, pretty smoothly. Pretty smoothly, I think. Okay, and then you could force march to here. Come on, auto resolve. Come on, auto resolve. I don't want to fight another siege. No. <laughs> no. Let me look at this map. Come on, be something that I can cheese. I don't want to fight it manually. I don't want to. If I wait until next turn, Sertha Ek can show up. Oh, but that's so lazy. Oh, that is so lazy to do that, though. <laughs> Oh, hang on. If you're here, you have a proposal, yes. I concur. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't realize how soon we'd be fighting him. All right, look. If if that's the case, we've got ten turns to get over here. We can just starve that out. Yeah. You will. Tribal fury. Yeah, I know I'm being lazy, but fuck, I don't want to do another siege. This one back over this way. Bloodthirsty. Slaughter the ship. All right, uh, let's see what we can build. Good stuff here. Uh, I suppose if I build some siege equipment, that should help in auto resolve. Plus, it'll um, give them 10% attrition. Super lazy. I really shouldn't be doing it, but <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of tired. And I'll fight a siege if it's relatively quick. I just don't want to. Plus, we're waiting for the Eki boy over here. So that's fine. Have we wiped out the armies now? Yeah, yeah, they're ready to capitulate. All right, how many settlements we're up to? 26. If I could get out of this war here, it would also pull them out of the war with Clan Ferric, buying us some time. What if I offered to go to war with Lamian Sisterhood? No, they don't care about that. Hmm. Well, hopefully they just sit here and starve this out for ages and buy us a bit of time. And let's move on. Forest of Decay is a chariot recruiting building for some reason. Oh yeah, I was recruiting them for Sertha Ek and then I just sort of forgot about it. Do you know what that was? That was like a mercy, mercy suicide from the AI. They're like, hey bro, I can see you're a bit fatigued. How would you like me to just lose the battle? Ah, oh, look at this. Azazel's getting wrecked.
And the great thing is now, we get replenishment, and we can keep moving. Do you know what I actually hope now? Is that, um... Sigvald declares war on me, because otherwise I've got to wait nine more turns before I can declare war on him. Or maybe I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> just take the reliability hit. Yeah, we can just we can just keep moving now. Cool. Enslave the southerners. What arcane magic item should I be hoping for? Depends on your freaking uh, faction. It varies. <laughs> That's too vague. Alright, get rid of this one. Uh, the Forest of Decay has enough units that if it besieged, it wouldn't be a problem. Bilius Cliff has enough units that we don't need to worry about that. Okay, that's good. Um, it's only got four units in there, so this should be an order resolve. Let me just bring the other army in over here as well. Okay, I need to piss Sigvold off. Let's have a look. Because otherwise he's not going to declare war on us. Let's have a look. How vexing. Your sycophantic overtures annoy me. So hurry up with your offer. Because he likes the fact that I've done military actions against the Legion of Chaos. Can't really see any other way to just piss him off. He might just make the attack, but we'll have to wait and see. David Greco did a $10 mission. Hey, Legion, enjoying the streams, thanks. Uh, stick with what's fun for you. Recent Dark Elf changes aren't great, but have you looked at Hellebron lately? Executioner stack, viable and melee meta. I have not looked at the Dark Elves much because I cannot stand to even look at them right now. Do I have Victoria 3 yet? No, I have no intention of getting Victoria 3 anytime soon. But thanks for the super chat, um, David Greco. Cheek, what's theirs? Norska! The Hound compels! You have my favor. So yeah, it's about even in terms of strength. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, go for it. What are we doing with you? Yep, more health is good. Yeah, with 10 iron resources, you could, um, recruit marauders for free. That's bloody good. Uh, construction costs minus 25 for all buildings, local province. Ugh. I thought they had a global bu uh, building for, uh, construction costs reduction. I don't think they do. Oh, well. Alright, well, I'm making good money. It's just... 
I still have construction to do, to do so um, I just don't need to raise another army. We're not under enough pressure. You know, gaining some good territory out here. How are things going with Archeon, uh, relation-wise? Let's have a look. I am pleased. Pretty friendly. You catch me in a moment okay, he's at war with Magathkin, and... Spare your soul. Whatever. Dominance. Let's keep that relationship climbing as much as possible. What if I gave him a gift? Yeah, I don't have enough money. don't have any money, do I? No. Uh, let's have a look at diplomacy, see what else is going on. Now. No. Norska. Yes. What? So I'll trade with them. You know the, the tribe consents. All right, the Sarl, I'll trade with them. The That's fine because to kill, I don't I intend to go to war done. with. Northman. Hot. Supreme champion. Cool. And let's move on. Dark Elves trigger legend, racist lol. It's got nothing to do. Okay, okay, I can see where you're coming from, whatever. I'm just not gonna play into that. Wanna see Legend play Mel Gibson? It's on my to-do list. Maybe I'll cover it tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, it seems like they just want to starve it out for ages. I think this is one of the reasons why the AI doesn't expand very quickly. They sit there besieging a settlement for like 10 turns. Do you know the law? Mel Gibson becomes the effort chosen after the great incident. Okay. Uh, Mel, uh, Orion is killed by Tyrion with the Sword of Cain. Is Orion any better battle commander now? No, he's just his faction mechanic is just insane, that's all. That's all it is. Slaughter the sheep. Accept it. Still a pretty average commander. My challenge? Undeniable. That's not No delay! Alright, if this one here was to attack Bilius Cliff, it would probably help if we had a Lord here. Let's just put somebody in there. And maybe a few spears, because those units there can be a bit of a problem. I'm going to get rid of this, which will also mean that'll mean fewer recruit slots. Actually, more important to upgrade the Bilius Cliff because of the uh, port, which is where we make our mega monies. Now would be a pretty good time to start getting like the Serpent's Gaze for the reduced upkeep cost and income from ports. But you gotta find a settlement that's worthy of blowing up. Now, it just so happens that I think Cliff of Beasts is worthy to blow up because it's gonna be tier 1 anyway. Just gotta get there. Cool. And let's move on. Alright, uh, let's throw got pulled out of ambush chance. Let's leave him in there. All he's doing is just making sure that nobody comes and invades our coastline over here. Because the AI will wait until you're undefended and then launch an attack on you. Alright, let's have a look at diplomacy, see if there's anything interesting here. No. 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 Chaos incarnate. Don't forget to declare war on every Zinch faction while playing Orion. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's the one faction you want to not declare war on. 
and you don't want to meet them at all. Zinch. Yeah, nice try. Hold faction, hold faction, hold faction. <laughs> Every army's free, but you can't move them. Alright, and... Stink of command! I really want to borrow an army, but I don't think this is going to be enough to capture... No, hang on, let me look here. I've done everything I can here. Let's move on to the next turn. I think if they come over here, they will get beaten. Because, uh, yeah, I'd like to occupy this and give it to them. 57 allegiance. All of the allegiance would be required. Not worth it. Just leave them to their own devices. YouTube unsubscribe me from your channel? Yeah, it does that. Yeah, it does that. Why is Wolfric's challenge undeniable? Okay, so Wolfric has this um, unique skill that isn't really in the game. Uh, where he is, a, he's got the choose gift of tongues. He can carefully. talk to anyone oh, in their home language. He just is able to do it. And apparently, if ish, if Wolfric issues you a challenge, it is not possible to deny it. Like you are compelled to to uh, actually duel him. Son of a bitch. Why would they besiege that settlement? Oh, excuse me. anything at the moment. Stink of command. Yes, I will you go sign before I claim it. If we're lucky they'll just sack right. that settlement. Alright, well here's a problem. If I declare Do war on him, that's gonna this backfire on me big time for a while. Um Should have cancelled that treaty a little while ago. Slave the southerners. Tribesmen, gather. Ooh. Yeah, two marauder spearmen might actually struggle Move against that because spellcaster as well. But if I throw in a Maro ice horn marauders, that should just do the trick. Despoil and ravage. All right, this time you don't run off too far. You may touch me only. Oh shit.
Because it's a spell cast and we've only got infantry, we could really get screwed up because of the, the lash of Slanesh. Like, really badly. I'm gonna try it anyway. I think I can win. I think it's really important in this situation here to, as much as possible, try to make sure the regiments of Renown take the damage from the, the, the Lash, and hopefully we can get her to cast the uh, the debuff spell. Um, why did she run away when it's still close to feet? I'm not sure. Oh, she's really sorry. She only rank nine. It's got the wand of whimsy. Obeying. Chaos marauders. Shields up. It's playing our music, but we could still very easily lose this if you're not careful. Yeah, they don't have much health. A single marauder unit should be enough to beat it if it wasn't for spell casting. So what we need to do Chaos here marauders. is if we could possibly dodge. Their spells while on the approach. Ah, oh, nice, what a waste. Is that all you got? The dark gods command me. That's fine. Moving. Oh yeah, we got this, we got this. Chaos Marauders! Okay, that worked pretty well. Oh yeah, they're terrible spellcasters. The AI, they're just, they're just not good at casting spells. They don't cast it long ways, they cast it through the middle. Oof. Okay, yeah, our lord probably shouldn't fight it. That was a bit better for casting. Might be okay to beat the shit out of it there. Oh yeah, we got this. Look, there we go. We got it. I probably didn't need to regiment of renown it. Gotcha. Good. Shouldn't those try to you can find the forest? Yeah. No, we were fine. I think it was potential for them to actually win the battle, that, but they had to use the whip correctly and try to lord snipe me, but they didn't try it hard enough. Crucial ended 20 SEK Super Chat. Really like the light, latest streams. Good work. All right, thanks, dude. Glad you enjoy them. Good. I've got resting sad face, but I'm really tired. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Off you go. Thanks for your assist. Also, guys. <laughs> oh, I've only fought 32 battles. I will hear you. Let's find somewhere. Quiet. Yeah, look, we're able to declare war on his vassals, but the AI can't do it. Um. Hmm. Do not test me, repellent fool. This handsome face hides it well. 
but I'm wiser than you know. Yeah, I just, uh, I can't get them to, um... Do it. I'm not sure what to do here. All right. Well, let's just raid, pass through here, and just sit in their territory and raid them. Despoil and ravage. The eagle guides me. This way. Because yeah, I really can't take that reliability penalty. That'll cause a cascading effect of shit that would not be good. That was my bad for getting a trade agreement with him, and not cancelling it a few turns ago. Oh well, these things happen. Alright, I think we're okay to get rid of the walls here. It's not looking too troublesome. Same thing at... No, keep it at Longship Graveyard. Alright, save up a bit more cash, and then we'll think about raising some forces to go and invade the Old World. Which is where I usually start blowing up settlements. Due to the fact that it gets ruined well pretty easily. Slaughter the sheep. We get Marauder Champions. The problem with Marauder Champions, at least last time I played it, was that they take two turns to recruit. Um, I would otherwise get them, but I think the best course of action if you're going to go Marauders is actually Marauder Berserkers. I've little time for talking. Oh, shit's about to hit the fan. Yeah, it's been a pretty easy campaign. Um, the only real challenging moment was that... was that moment with um, the scaling and Throg declaring war. That was... Um, that had me sweating a little bit, but we got through it. Come on, Skaven, you can beat him. Alright, that's good, because if you ambush that... Oh, you lost. Good, you won. Now, beat the crap out of this. No. What's Throg doing? Throg is protecting the coastline over through here. We've been invaded through here, so he's sitting there in ambush stand so that if anyone comes over here, he just goes and beats them. Berserkers failed due to lack of AP damage. Okay. Mm. Well, there's pros and cons to um, all of them. Why are they stuffing this out? Undefeated. Look at that, we've got this shit again. Okay. How vexing. You're sycophantic. Enslave the southerners. Maraud is all. Avert your eyes. Alright, well that should piss him off. Let's see if he declares war on me. Despoil and ravage. Hard grave. So it does seem as though Clan Mold is gearing up to declare war on me, but if we have a look at them, I don't think they're that strong. No, not really. Got rid of all of these treaties with us. So if he declares war on us, we don't go to war with the Ecstatic Legion. He's only got two regions, and he's fighting with these bloody Kislevites that are beating him. Maybe he just wants to pick on somebody that he thinks would be easier just because these settlements over here are poorly defended. But since I've got money, why don't we change that? Hang on, Clan Mulder, we should probably go Marauder Spearman. Enslave the 
Eat my enemies. Yep. And yeah, we're just waiting for something to happen over here, I suppose. Alright, you can go into the stance here. You'll save a little bit more money. Overrun the world. Yeah. And let's do some construction. So we'll see if that causes them to declare war on us. Just trying to goad them to make an attack. Alright, getting a growth building here I don't think is really needed because we're rocketing towards tier 5. Alright, in this slot, yeah, that's good. No point getting any of that. Nor that. Nor that. Yeah, get that going. So, money's looking good. And we're still pretty early in the campaign now. I blew it up. I'll go ruin dweller. Raiding Sigvald. Too slow to make him angry. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, look at this. Shit. Unfortunately, I um, I made a trade agreement with him early on, but then I decided I wanted to go to war with him, and I cancelled it. But I got to wait for it to expire. So I'm trying to get him to declare war on me. Well, there's some anti-player bias for you, because normally the Dark Elves are way too busy to have to uh, come over here. Oh. Also, really, really, really off-topic. Um, but... Just something that I noticed today. Did you guys ever watch the, like, the animated movie Anastasia? It has, like, the villain of Rasputin. Is it just me, or is that one of the most fucked up villain deaths of all time? Like, I was looking at that today, and I thought to myself, that is, like, one of the most horrifying deaths I've ever seen in an animated movie. And I watched Akira. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just thought I'd mention that. that Rasputin's death is, like, Fucked up. That's an old one. Yeah, yeah, it is really old. Now oh, they took it. Oh my god, this is gonna watch that. It's 25 years old, dude. Technically not Disney, yeah. It's owned by Disney now, I think, but... Legion of Chaos destroyed, cool. And then, as for... What is this foolish Ooh, I may not be able to... Oh no, we've got eight units in there, already. And then we pop down you. My broad is all. She better already freaking marauder. And then I can get this one and nothing else. Shit. <laughs> that gives me 10 units against 13. And they've got Dark Conduit. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's the end of today's stream. <laughs> End it before, before we suffer a defeat there. Um, Alright, cool. We're going to call that a day. Let's go chuck a host over to someone. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. Alright, so let's see, what are we, who are we going to host? Alright, let's chuck the host over to um, Radiant Ash, which we hosted um, uh, most of the mad yesterday. So, she's doing vampire accounts and dressing up as a vampire account. Alright, 
Let's check the host over to her. I'm absolutely knackered. I need to get some rest. I uh, appreciate all the support today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the campaign. It's a little bit on the easy side. But I do enjoy playing as, as Norska, but I understand it's it's not the most exciting. I do intend to probably cover the uh, cover Orion tomorrow. But we'll we'll uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you then. Later, fuckers. Bye.